buddy, for coming back. I appreciate you. Bernona says, Harry, my favorite. Are you kidding me? I appreciate you so much. Uh, what's up, Hurricane Matthew? Uh, okay. Uh, Albert, what's up, Albert? Hiking Yoga Dog Mom? My God. I mean, does it get better than that name right there? Patricia, what's up? What's up, Swillness? Great to see you. Um, Lizeth, good to see you. How, how is everybody? Linda, good to see you. Carol, good to see you. Kelly, good to see you. Brianna, good to see you. Oh, man. Hi, everybody. Gold Eyes, great to see you as well. Craney, great to see you. Good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, you're my fave. Oh man, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, you versus Chris NCAA stream. That would not go well for Chris, man. He, he, he don't want that smoke, bro. Kathy, good to see you. Scotland, good to see you. Do you see Jack Smith files? Yes, I did. I did. I did see them. Crazy. Like, oh my God, man. It's just, it's, it's <sighs> mind blowing. It's mind blowing that that's a Republican nominee for president. Alexandra, great to see you. Uh, Orlando, good to see you. Miss Donna, good to see you. Uh, Cece, great to see you. Lydia, good to see you. Guys, ladies, gents, boys, girls, everybody in between. You sound much better. I feel much better. I, 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 I feel as if I've recovered a little bit from my sickness, my like two-week-long cold that I had. You might say, is that COVID? It sounds like COVID. Maybe. Hopefully not. Linda, thank you for the fireworks. I didn't have a test, so hopefully it wasn't. But thank you to the vaccine for, if it was, for making me... Not so bad. Um, I subscribe to your YouTube account. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Listen, everybody. Uh, you know what we're doing here this evening. If you haven't already, Grace, great to see you. Alex, good to see you, my man. If you've been here before, you know what we're doing. If you haven't, we are debating MAGA. We are talking to Trump supporters, Republicans, conservatives, all these people. So if you are any of those people, if you are a Republican, if you're a Trump supporter, if you're a conservative, if you don't like Joe Biden, if you don't like Kamala Harris, if you don't like me, whatever your, whatever your gripe may be with the Democratic Party and whoever in the Democratic Party, come on up and tell me why you support Donald Trump. You can either type MAGA in the chat or just request up and we can have a conversation. Now, uh, do me a favor as well. Another thing, make sure to double tap the screen. Let's try to get to 100,000 likes. As Law of the Wild would say, fill up that entire bar just once, maybe twice to, rec- to cover for the MAGA Republicans who won't do it. So fill up that entire bar. Let's get to 100,000 likes. I think if we do that, we even get to like 200,000 pretty quickly. But I digress. Uh, make sure to drop a follow if you haven't already. Spam shares um, that also boost the live. And of course, Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio if you want to support the live. But now let's get into it. All right. If you're MAGA, if you're MAGA, request up. Let me know and uh, we can talk. All right. Yeah. Sound good? Sounds good to me. So just type mag in the chat if you are, and you can come up and you can tell me. Look at this guy. Trump equals goat, bro. That's, I mean, it's a troll account. I, I feel like that guy has come up in my live before. Uh, but that's crazy, bro. Trump equals the goat. Man, you are crazy. You are weird, bro. Uh, let's pr- invite this guy. Reversal swings. Let's invite this guy. I'm inviting a bunch. One of them came up. One of them came up. Let's get like another three-on-one going. I want we get another three-on-one going in here. That was fun the other night when we had three people in here. Hello, are you? How old are you? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Think I'm gonna wait, wait, wait? Do you think I'm gonna mute you for that? Oh, see, he could have gone way worse than that. He could have said something way worse. That was actually like tame for most people who come up here and troll, man. I, I didn't, I didn't even kick him. He left by himself. That was like, you, you can't, you can't do that. You have to get kicked by me for it to be anything. Come on, man. That was weak. Come back. Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. And maybe we'll actually, will I be live tomorrow? I don't even know. Come back to the next time and maybe make it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> make it make it better. All right. Let's 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 invite this guy. Purpose. I don't know what his name is. We'll get him up here. Again, request up if you're MAGA. Only request up if you are a Trump supporter. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, not much. How old are you? 18 years old. Right. And why are you MAGA? Oh, I'm not. I just wanted to say hello. Oh, hi. All right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking an energy drink right now. Did you know that? Enjoy that, man. You have a good one. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's a uh, character for sure. Look at him. He just, he just wants to say hi. No problem. No problem. Not what we're looking for, but, you know, no problem. Let's bring up Mr. Apple. He's in the box right now. Um, hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. How old are you? Oh, I'm 19. You're 19? All right. Why are you voting for Trump? Uh, so like I grew up on a farm and shit and, uh, when Trump was in office, I want to say where I live in Connecticut, diesel was about fuck like two, two sixty, I think. And, um, diesel went all the way up to $4 and 40 cents a gallon. And that, that's pure bullshit, pure and under bullshit. Are you saying that's because of Joe Biden? I mean, we're buying oil from Saudi Arabia. Then yeah, we were still buying, we bought oil from Saudi Arabia under Donald Trump. 
Not as much though. Um, we're actually producing more oil here in the United States right now, and the levels of what we're buying oil from other countries is relatively stable. Are you it sure? hasn't like shot up. Am I sure about what? Are you sure. Sure about the oil. Yeah, we're producing more oil right now than ever before in American <laughs> history. That's via the EIA.gov, which is the Energy Information Administration. It's a federal government website. They track the production of oil. Okay, what about the price of food? Price? Of, I mean, for me, price of like chicken feed because we are a vegetable and chicken farm. So, like, what about that stuff? Yeah, that's also has nothing to do with the president of the United States. That was due to supply chain issues. <clears throat> excuse me, supply chain issues around the world because of COVID. Um, and the lack of goods getting to shelves for consumers. So, you know, if, for example, let's just say there are a bunch of farmers in your area demanding chicken feed, right? They all want to buy chicken feed to feed their chickens. But there's a limited amount of chicken feed, right? There's only so much. You, need, you have like 10 farmers, you need chicken feed. There's only, can, only so much that can, uh, can satisfy five farmers. Then the price is going to go up because the supply is limited, right? But if you have 10 farmers and there's enough for 20 farmers, enough chicken feed for 20 farmers, then the price will go down. Right, uh, it's Econ 101, and that's what happened during the pandemic, essentially with like all of these different products. I mean, yeah, but I got one question for you. Okay, what is it? Did you watch the, uh, the debate last night? I did. Yes. Who do you think won? Tim Walz. Okay. I mean, yeah, uh, to me, won? it's like kind of like kind of like fifty fifty because like Tim Walz did say he was friends with school shooters. Well, he missed. He did say that. Yeah, he misspoke. He was he was in it was in the middle of a conversation of of school shootings and gun control generally, and he was talking about how he had met with Sandy Hook families and how they were in his office like demanding change and how he befriended a lot of these these families and like knows them personally. And in, in part of his sentence, he misspoke and said I befriended school shooters. Obviously, that's not what he meant. Obviously, he was talking about the Sandy Hook families. I mean, oh yeah, I live like right down the road from the the old elementary school. It was a true tragedy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So though he was talking to those families in his office in Congress when he was in Congress. Um, and that's what he was referencing. He misspoke. It's not it's that easy. And look, he left. Now you, Reversal, why are you MAGA? Got to figure out how to unmute, though. See if he does it. See if he figures that out. I'm not, I'm not hopeful here. Just, 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 this is, this is always like some, <laughs> this is always the most challenging thing for some people. Just the unmute button. It's a, it's a tough one to find. Just press your, press your little, your, your profile picture and press unmute if you're there. I don't think he is. I don't think it will we'll, we'll, we'll drop if he wants to come back up. I want to give him the opportunity to speak. I want to give him the opportunity to speak. But for now, he must go. All right. If you're MAGA, let me know in the chat. I'll bring you up and we can uh, we can talk Dude, this guy. Literally just switched his profile picture to Trump. Look at this guy. This is a good tactic. I like this guy right here. He switched his profile picture to Trump to try to get up here. That was smart, man. You had like a, I saw you had like a suit. It was like a prom photo or something. And now you switched it to Trump. Did you, uh -huh. just, like, did you just look up Donald Trump and like put in the first profile picture? Hello? Yeah, hello. How old are you, bro? I'm um, 19. Yeah, how, yeah, okay, bro. What year were you born? June 17th, 2005. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it. All right, why are you MAGA? You got to come back here, bro. Can't, can't hear you off uh, when you're not on lap. Is that true? Is that, is that even correct? Yeah, it's 19. Dude, you got you got to come back on. We can't hear you when you're off TikTok. Nobody can hear you right now. Man, people 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 be struggling with the app, man. They just they, they don't know how it works, dude. They don't know how it works. All right, if you're MAGA, let me know in the chat. I'll bring you up. If you're MAGA, let me know in the chat. I'll bring you up, and you can tell me why on earth you're supporting Donald Trump. Look look another guy with a Trump profile picture. Look at this guy, MAGA Mobile. Seriously, I mean, they really have MAGA Mobile. Look at this guy. He's another Trump profile picture. Hello, are you MAGA? Yeah, I'm MAGA. How old are you? Are you? What the fuck is going on? Hello, are you Hello? MAGA? Bro, are you, are you here to debate or not? Yeah, I'm here to debate you. All right, why? Why are you MAGA? The policies. Okay, what policies? America first, uh, energy independence, secure and safe borders, uh, reduction of cost, reduction of government, reduction of size of government. Um, so where do you, which, which, I mean, give me one and we'll start there and we'll go from, we'll go through them all. Which one, where, where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? Border security. Border security. Okay. Uh, so do you think that uh, the border right now is a national security issue? I do. I do believe that. And, and you think it's a, a big problem in the United States, like one of the main ones we're facing? 
Well, you know, let, let's look at what asylum seekers are supposed to do under asylum laws. They're supposed to stop in the first country that they arrive upon, not continue through Mexico and march to a country that they want to go to. That's not true. There's nothing that stops um, somebody from seeking asylum if they've walked through Mexico. What they have to do, though, first is seek asylum in Mexico and then get granted that. And then they can go seek asylum somewhere else as well. But like theoretically, for example, a, an asylum seeker could seek asylum in a country and then be persecuted in that country and then have to go to another country. Right. So there's no law saying like, oh, there's nothing saying like, oh, yeah, you have to stay in the first country that you can seek asylum in because that's but, 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 no sense. understanding the asylum laws. OK, asylum laws as you're fleeing a government, OK, or a country from a dangerous spot or yeah. that you're at risk. Um, I, I can't understand why. You know, once they've gotten out of Venezuela, whatever country you're leaving or fleeing and you've arrived in the next one, which is a safe place, where are you continue to going? What are you talking like? I mean, they, but I'm curious, like what what law are you citing that says that they have to they have to stay in the first country that they enter? Like, this is this is not an actual law. Like, this is not a thing. It's not. It's not. I'm not saying it's natural law, but where, no, I, I'm, what I'm saying is, I, where's I the actual law. What continues you to keep moving? Yeah, I think As that an immigrant, um, like, like, I, like if you're fleeing a country that is not unsafe to live in, where are you okay. go, like and once you've arrived in another country, you're safe. You're out of that country. Where are you continue to going? Why are you? Yeah, continuing but theoretically, to think about it this way. Right. Um, if you have like a really great country up here, really prosperous country with a lot of economic opportunity, then in the middle, you have a country that is really dangerous and you might die. And if you go to and then you have the country that you're being persecuted in, if you leave the country you're being persecuted in and then go to the middle country, it doesn't mean you're safe. Also, are you driving right now? Am I driving? No, I'm right. I'm passenger in a vehicle. You're passenger. Do you have somebody else is driving? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Go ahead. Have them talk. Yeah, I'm not, not going to have a conversation. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, no, have them say something. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Have, have the person that's driving say like something. Just have them say anything. Here, say something. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Say something. Okay, you're good. I, I believe you. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, uh, so basically, I, like I said, I, I, I look. No one, no one country it has like hard feelings towards anyone seeking a better life or a better future. That's okay, but it has risked the safety of Americans, and you can't deny that, Harry. That's also not and true. You can't deny that illegal immigrants that have came in undocumented have not committed any crime. No, I'm not saying what that. About, what about no, the that's not, that's 12-year-old girl in Houston that was mur murdered and raped? Under a bridge. Well, listen, okay, I, I, a twelve year old girl. I, I think that so that was that's obviously a tragedy, right? Obviously, a, no no objection for me. And I think that you care about that little girl. I think you do, but I don't think the people Harry, you're I'm voting for. Wait, I'm not done yet. I don't think the people you're voting for do. Donald Trump does not care about that little girl. He doesn't care about her life. He doesn't care about, care about her safety. You, he does not that, care Harry. about what what, what, what what happened to her. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one thing that Donald Trump has done or ever said that he does not care about the citizens of this country. Yeah, he so in that Show specific me. in that specific example of that little girl under the bridge, he assaulted a woman himself. So clearly who? he doesn't care about what who? Eugene e. e. Carroll. Right, you are you not familiar I'm with this case? I'm not referring to that that incident. No, I know you're not, not referring, referring to, to e. it. I know you're not referring to Eugene Carroll, but I'm saying that Donald Trump the people you're voting for do not care about that little girl you just cited. Donald okay. Trump does not you're, care about the little girl because he himself assaults. That, wait, that, that he himself Texas. assaults women. He himself assaults women, and when? he blocks immigrants. I just told you, E. Jean Carroll in the 1990s, around 1994, 1995, and he was sued for this in civil court and lost. The uh, unanimous yeah, jury ruled that it was more likely than not he did it. Harry. What? There's no evidence to that besides her. That's testimony. not true. That's not I could really, say really. Too. So then, so then, let me ask you this: There was a dress that E. Jean Carroll was wearing that day. She's kept this dress since then. On that dress, before trial, they had it tested, and there was an unidentified male's DNA found on the dress. The same dress that E. Jean Carroll was wearing the day that Donald Trump assaulted her. Now, E. Jean Carroll's side asked Donald Trump to give his DNA over to test it to see if it was his DNA. And you know what happened? Donald Trump refused to give his DNA over. For three years, he refused to give his DNA over. Why? Look, look. It's very why? obvious, Harry. The man has never, he's been a public icon Wait, figure why? for 40 years, helping civil rights movements, helping civil rights really? movements. Really? Is that, is that why he got sued for housing discrimination in the 1970s? They were denying housing black discrimination? tenants? That's, look, that's government contracted housing for HUD. Wait, no, that's okay? not true. Is, that, 
That's not true. He was denying black tenants at Trump in, in Trump properties in New York. He was Harry, denying black tenants and accepting white I'm tenants. I'm 40 years old. You weren't even alive at this point. So, How yeah, it, it doesn't. It, it has. That doesn't matter. You don't have to be well, alive to say that something was bad. At that point, you, you weren't. You, wait, are you, is your view that you have to be alive to say that something was bad? No, but I'm okay. So then, why the hell are you saying that? Experience at that time is false. I was living in some false reality. I'm 40 years old, Harry. Wait, what are you? I'm period. not saying what. What are you saying? You're living in a false reality. I'm telling you the facts. You're saying that Donald Trump was helping helping with civil rights movement while simultaneously denying black tenants uh, opportunities in his properties, and he was Sharpton. taking out entire. Wait, I'm not done yet. Can you stop talking when I'm talking? He was taking out in, entire newspaper pages, calling out the Central Park Five and saying that they were guilty for a crime they didn't commit. And then in 2012, he called the first black president un-American, said he wasn't born here and said that he was born in Africa. Please spare me the whole he was helping with civil rights movements and hey, did he, simultaneously did he, he was assaulting women at the time. Did Obama show all that? Did Obama show that? Obama was born in the United States of America. What pro did he submit his proof? Oh like my every, God, when everyone bro. questioned it? I'm yeah, not we, trying to sit here and argue we, we know. that. We, we've but seen, you're arguing over we know something that. that this is like, that. like I said, it's an off-relevant topic. You're going off-topic. Like no, you said that you said irrelevant. that he helped. I'm did just debunking. President I'm debunking Trump. your. I'm debunking your civil argument that Donald movements. Trump helped yes, with civil rights did. movements. And then he's like, he's like, great look guy because he's not. Mike, look when people attacked Mike Tyson for being a rapist. Who gave him his place, platform to fight and to re literally to speak for himself? That was Donald Trump that defended him. Well, just for the record, like Mike that Tyson was Donald was... Trump that defended him when wait, everyone else wait, 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 Mike just, Tyson out just for the record, Mike Tyson was found guilty. Convicted felon criminal. Mike, Mike Tyson was found guilty of assaulting a woman. So are you saying, are you bragging about Donald Trump that. defending somebody who assaulted a woman? Look, what? all I'm saying is there's been, you're saying he's a racist <laughs> Bro, person that doesn't care about people of all ethnic colors. And he does. Yeah, Harry. I'm saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that Donald Trump doesn't care it's about anybody. It's not true. It, it, it absolutely is true. I mean, he assaults women. He here's, tries to overturn elections point. he here's didn't win and, and things like that. I mean, this guy here's doesn't care point. about anybody. Here's he only point, cares about Harry. himself. I'm married to a Korean immigrant. Okay. okay. My wife Good. came the right way. We had to go through immigration processes. I spent $10,000 getting her processed through immigration to get on a green card status and then finally to a citizenship status. All of her documentation is on file. Great. If my wife has to come the legal way and I have to spend $10,000 to get her on the books as a legal citizen of this country, there's no fucking way that people should be able to walk through our southern border undocumented with nothing on file that is wrong every other you, you gotta you gotta you take a breather across china's borders you gotta you take a breather across china's borders you gotta take a breather you, you gotta subscribe you, you got well I don't, I, I, nobody wants here. to walk in those countries um you gotta stop yelling by the way you gotta stop screaming way. you're like you're like you're in a, you're 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 in a small vehicle you're in a small rules. vehicle you're the person that's driving the car is probably freaking out at you just screaming at your phone you're you're salivating because all of the screen buddy give a break a now listen hey, listen if you're if you're so angry about what's happening at the border which by the way i want to make it clear that nobody's just walking in right most people who are encountered at the border are rejected and then they're <laughs> sure. on, yeah 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 listen up listen up stop talking you just you just went on your screaming rant for five minutes about your wife and how she's korean and she's a legal immigrant that's great now it's my turn to be able to debunk your whole entire spiel so nobody's just walking through debunk. the border and getting Please in and then the united off. states government is looking at them being like yeah come on in like you just walked in we don't know anything about you come on in that's not happening that it's never happened right most people who are coming okay. into the country right now are seeking yeah, asylum i'm not done yet most people who are coming in right now are seeking asylum which i would agree is a problem this asylum system is being abused now you're saying oh people are just walking in wouldn't you agree with funding more border patrol agents wouldn't you make it wouldn't you agree with making it harder for people to seek asylum wouldn't you agree with giving the Department of Justice more money to, to uh, expand immigration courts and to be able to prosecute? No, because, because uh, wait, 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 I'm not done yet. Justice. Well, I'm not done yet. Prosecuting drug traffickers and things like that. Wouldn't you agree with giving the president the ability to shut down the border and giving the Border Patrol the ability to shut down the border? Wouldn't you agree with investing in state-of-the-art technology at the border to scan for drugs coming through? Do you agree with those things? Of course I do. But okay, then why did Donald Trump bill, kill the bill that included all of those bill. things? It wasn't what was in that bill. It absolutely was stop. in that bill. It absolutely That's was in that bill. That's not going to stop the problem, Harry. It's going to minimize it, the flow. It was it's not absolutely stop the in that bill. All of that stuff, you can read the bill. The text is out there. And it was, again, and written by Senator. Wait, in that bill it was too. written by Senator James Langford, one of the most conservative senators in the Senate right now, <laughs> who was endorsed by Donald Trump. Thank you, Lincoln, for this. Well, from a liberal, yeah, that, that would be your point of view, Harry. He, he, vo he voted with Donald Trump better? like 100% of the time. 
Look, Donald Trump made it's it clear so, he oh would name God. the Mexican cartels terrorist organizations. They are poisoning people. Poisoning. Yeah, that 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 people that, are going out does, buying. Wait, fentanyl. I'm sorry. What does? How does that pill. stop? How does that solve the problem? Because right now, again, the majority Taking of people who are out? coming through the country are not uh, people just walking in uh, through across the border. They're people seeking asylum, right? All, we have to rewrite the law surrounding okay, asylum. We're, we're now, we're Joe we're Biden, Kamala we're Harris, we're and James we're Langford, we're and Republicans and, and Democrats tried to do that, but Donald Trump blocked the bill. So you cannot come up here and scream about a 12-year-old girl who was a, a tragedy happened to her if you're not willing to pass the, the immigration reform. Was that the only one, Harry? No. Is that the only uh, I mean, one look, tragedy? Come no, on now, not at all. That, that, it's not the only tragedy. But like, by the way, are you familiar with a woman by the name of Molly Tibbetts? Correct, yeah. Who is she? Are you talking about the lady that was? No, maybe that's not the right one. So you're not familiar with Molly Tibbetts? No, no, I'm not. I'm thinking of yeah, a different thing. Yeah, exactly. Of, of course case. you're not. You know why? Because that was a woman who was killed under Donald Trump by an undocumented migrant. Of course, you, but you don't know her name because you don't want to politicize her death because well, well, it happened well, under Donald Trump. But you don't know you don't know her name. By the, and, but again, it's important to know that undoc many, many undocumented migrants commit less crime than native born Americans, first and foremost. But you don't even when it happens, even when it happens, the Democrats are the first people to say, yeah, that's oh, awful. Right. And they should be prosecuted. The we are the party of law and order. We are the party of law and order. You're the party of ignoring people who break the law. We're the party Let me of ask order. you, how often have you read the Constitution there, Harry? How, how often do I read the Constitution? Have you read, I it? Can't, have you read it and understood it? I, I've read the Constitution, but I'm not reading the Constitution every day of my life. Okay. So, again, you continue to go down this road of banning assault weapons, which what? no one of a Democrat can, can identify what assault ban or You're weapons pivoting. Why are you is. pivoting right now? Okay. What do you mean? Why, you're just you're now bringing up assault weapons in the Constitution. We were talking about immigration. You want to go back to immigration? I well, can go back I, to immigration. Well, it's a losing I, immigration's a losing a losing look, issue for the I Republican want the Party. Shut down. We're full. We can't take in. Our economy is in a fucking heading into recession. What, then why did There's Donald? That's jobs right now. What the economy's in a recession? Oh my God, dude! You need to get out. You need to stop listening to Donald Trump, man. Every okay, well, single major no economist out there says that the economy is fantastic. Our down forty six percent. Forty six percent in our town. We've started massive layoffs in our town. Don't your, tell me we're not your in town. Area. I'm sorry to break this to you, and I'm sorry that this is happening. Company. But your town is not representative of a national environment. So your town, theoretically, oh, it could be it could be the case oh, that your town all, is having man. specific struggles, and that's terrible. And I'm sorry to hear that, but that does not mean that the entire economy is struggling and that we're on the verge of recession. Oh, oh, so you think the numbers are showing positive? The numbers growth, are very huh? good right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, good with that, Harry. You look, you, you know, really. You I mean, we, we have we're having great agenda. All you want. I what mean, the everything hell are you talking you about? Our GDP is growth is great. We have great job growth. Unemployment is low. Inflation has been below three percent for a while now. It keeps going lower, and the Fed just cut rates keeps recently, indicating a strong really? economy. And the really? stock market is breaking its own records every single day. Oh yeah, with Fed purchases. That's not not, that is not no. That's utter. That's, that's not utter nonsense. Equity. That that's is utter, utter nonsense. That is utter nonsense. That's all utter nonsense. Fed that's purchases. completely false. That's completely all false. All Fed purchases. No one's buying bonds. It's complete. Harry. Where are you getting no this information from bonds. that it's just Fed purchases? Wait, are you are, are you trying to tell me that the Federal Reserve is just buying up Apple stock right now? What is wrong with you? What are you, what are you talking you about? Are, you're, you're, if you what are you talking about? That, Harry? What do you, you mean? What do you? Where are you getting this information from? Where you? Any of this information that we're on the verge of recession and that the Fed is buying up all these stocks and that's why the stock market is doing well? Do you understand that the the stock market is not dictated by the Federal Reserve? So if all these investors were looking oh, at the Federal Reserve all, buy up right? stocks so to, to, to inflate a, a bad economy, securities? investors would not invest. Did, 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 let me ask me one question: Does the Fed buy securities? In some cases, they do, but they're not sitting there oh, buying. Oh. They're not oh, sitting there okay. buying Apple stock. The the stock market that we're talking with the stock market that we're talking about no, is like the Nasdaq, the S and P five hundred, and things Apple like stock. that. Those those in those indexes are ripping right now. They're breaking their oh, own records, yeah, and that's Warren not because Buffett of the Federal Reserve. At either dumping all of the tech stocks that he has, right? Correct. Who? Correct. Warren Buffett. You ever heard of him? Yeah, I'm familiar with Warren Buffett. Warren oh, Buffett okay. has not dumped okay. all of his tech stocks. Where are you getting this from? All oh of his my Apple. god, dude. All of his Apple. Okay, okay, Harry. Look, 
Wait, he's he's dumping Apple. Okay, that's 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 he's really that would be go, really stupid. Then type it in your Google real quick. You can look at. Uh, that would be, that would be really stupid then. But also, even if I, I don't understand why you think yeah. that uh, yeah, Warren see, Buffett so selling I, a stock like means said, that everybody should sell that a stock. Reality. If you're thinking that life, look, if, if Harris is so great, why hasn't she fixed anything? Go back to anything. Uh, go back to government one hundred and one. She can do. Go back to go, go back to government one hundred and one. Take like a. Take like a basic civics class and you'll understand what the role of the vice president is. You'll also understand what the role of the, oh, president, the president is and then you'll find out what the role of Congress is and how these 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 different branches of government work together to get things done. Because if you did take a basic well, uh, government civics class in high school, you'll know that the vice president can't do any of these things that you're talking about. Oh, so she wasn't the tiebreaker vote on the Inflationary Duct Act, huh? That didn't Wait, cause what's inflation, your problem? Harry? Wait, what's your problem with the Inflation Reduction Act? It caused inflation. Massive Wait, how? inflation. How, how massive so? inflation. She how was so? the tie-breaking vote. She how, was the how did it cause vote. massive inflation? You think I cause inflation? Government printing money and government spending how, is the only how, thing. Wait, that how did the inflation, inflation reduction act cause inflation? Government spending. That, wait, it's a bill over 10 years. All that money is yes, not dumped Harry, into the economy at your once. Job, you're catching on. Wait, no, you're being Me you're still you being incredibly dumb. Respectfully, jackass. respectfully Respectfully, you're being incredibly dumb because it's a, it's a it's a bill over ten years. Not all that money is dumped into the economy at once. Because then, if your if your view is that oh yeah, the government just passing bills generally is inflationary, then that's a really dumb view. Given the fact that Donald Trump passed a huge tax America cut for trillions of dollars, when Elon Musk offered a contract under a billion to do that, you wasted forty one billion dollars to try to connect rural America to internet when we have satellite internet, and he offered the government. At one billion to provide. Yeah, all I don't of know why we. I don't know why so we ever. I don't know why we'd Incompetent ever work government. with Elon Musk when it comes to something like that. Now oh, listen, know, the Inflation Reduction Act. Are fucking mad that he told you. Can to you just stop? Can you stop screaming, ass, Mike? You're all jackass. You're, can you stop you're screaming? You're so angry. Jackass. You're so angry. You're so angry. Because you're dumb, uh, let's, Harry. Now, 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 now read. Now let's let's. Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. On the Inflation Reduction Act was passed in August of 2022. In August of 2022, the inflation rate was 8.3 percent. A year later. 3.7%. Yeah. A year later, 2.5%. So where is this massive inflation you're saying came from and the that, Inflation Reduction oh, Act? Yeah. Because and, ever and, since and the that, Inflation that Reduction Act was passed, inflation has gone down. Gas? No, it doesn't, Harry. It doesn't. Wait, wait. It does. Tell the people it does. What it doesn't include. It does. No, it doesn't. And also, no, wait, also, doesn't. wait, 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 wait. How did the Inflation Reduction Act cause gas prices to go Glass. up? I'm sorry? How did the Inflation Canceling Reduction Anwar Act drilling? cause gas prices to go up? Canceling Anwar is why we have gas prices at what we did. You said we're still drilling That's not, the same amount. That is so dumb. Wait, wait, wait. That's so, that, is so that is so incredibly dumb. That is so incredibly dumb because if gas price – are you saying that gas prices in the United States are based on how much oil we're drilling here? Did they cancel the Anwar? Did they cancel? Yeah, we're, not, we're, not, we're no longer going forward with that project, but we're still doing drilling in, in Alaska and, and things like that. But I'm, I'm just curious. They do you shut think that gas? Anwar. Do you think that yes, gas? They did. Yeah, but yes, and, yes, that's and, correct. And I, I just want. And, wait, 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 wait. Anwar wasn't even a project that started yet. Oh yeah, pivot around. Wait, there. no, listen. This is so. This is you're making such a terrible point. I'm trying to make you realize that this is a bad point. Anwar wasn't even started yet, right? So it wasn't a drilling project that was taking place in the United States already. Meaning that if it hadn't started yet, it's cancellation. I'm not done yet. No, can you not. can you can you realize why you're being dumb right now? Anwar, if it wasn't even uh, drilling yet it wasn't even started it had no impact on gas prices thus canceling anwar also had no impact on gas prices and gas prices are not just based on on, on uh, how much we're drilling here in the united states it's based on global markets and i want to remind you that we're drilling and producing more oil right now in yeah, the united we states than ever before not flooding we're the market with it what and we have no reserves because this jackass president just emptied it thinking that that would be the best price to get us down 20, 10 cents in gas. That's yeah, for so military in case of, you know, that's, emergency that's also, use only. That's also it's not, not true. It's not to lower gas prices What are you talking about? It's not, it's, 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 it's not, not for the military. It's not for the military. It's for the use when there's like a disaster. So, for example, when there was Hurricane Sandy, some of the oil barrels in our reserves were released it's to deal with Hurricane Sandy. But also, it's used for when oh, it's necessary. Right, now, Google are you saying, the by, the way, by the way, by the way, releasing the, use. releasing, can you stop talking? Holy shit. When Joe Biden released the oil reserves, it was a genius move for a number of reasons. Not only did it decrease uh, gas prices on a global market, yeah, genius, which then influenced genius, American genius. gas prices, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you in a second if you don't stop talking. I don't want to do it. But it, inf it influenced uh, American gas prices as well because 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 global prices went down. But also Biden beat OPEC. This has been this was never done before before in American history by a president. Biden beat OPEC. Donald Trump before him went to Saudi Arabia and these Middle Eastern countries and part that are part of OPEC and begged them to increase their production. He begged them. He begged them, calling, "Oh, your your highness, your holiness, and things like that." To these Middle Eastern leaders, saying, "Please increase your oil drilling." You know what Joe Biden did? He said, "Hey, OPEC, you want to boost up your your drilling?" They said, "No." He said, "Okay, screw you." He went back to the United States, released oil from our reserves, sold them onto the market, which increased supply uh, and net demand, meaning prices came down. And then, when he sold it at like one hundred and twenty dollars a barrel, he bought the barrels back at around eighty dollars. He made the United States money. He bought low, sold high. We made $500 million from that transaction because of Joe Biden. And you're sitting up here claiming we have no reserves, and you're complaining about making $500 it million dollars and Joe Biden it did, did this? Nothing. None it less. Better less Read a book. Reserve. Read a book. I do. Plenty, Harry. I don't Play think you plenty. do. I mean, the, the, the Chronicles of Trump is not a book, dude. you gotta, got to go read, like, read on, something man. that's substantive. You were on you were on here to about how good Joe Biden was and how great he's going to do on that debate and got annihilated. I can't believe you can even get up and look in the mirror and sit and say the things that you do and you've made yourself look like a complete fool. You, man. you can't even you complete can't even fool. Re, you can't you rebut my points. That he is in the best shape that he's ever been. You, you he can't you, you can't you crack. can't rebut my look. Here's here's a perfect example of you looking like a fool yourself. You can't rebut my points. Every time we argue about something, whether it be immigration, then you pivot. Then you went to gun control. You pivoted. Now we're look, on oil and you're I'm pivoting to, to Joe pivot Biden. You, you're you pivot Pivot, 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 pivot. Too. You're on you the board slandering you conservatives if like we're the problem in this you country, pivot. Harry. We're not. Yeah. No, no, no. We I'm not saying I'm not saying hold on, hold on. Sat back That's not true. That's not what I'm saying. And do the shit that you're doing. What I'm telling you is under a constitutionally protected act, do that shit again and see what happens this year. Because I can tell you, a hundred more than a hundred million Americans are fucking hurt. They're they can't feed their family. They can't afford housing. And yet you can't you can't articulate why any of these the things are the way that they are over the citizens. And I can tell you, as a country that's armed, go ahead and do that one more time. Go do, ahead and do, do what it. You specifically? know yourself. Conservatives are not bad people. We donate more as a private charity to help others around the world than any other country Why in the you, world. Can you stop we screaming? Everyone, what are you? Can you stop screaming and trying to make yourself feel ourselves. better about who you are? What are you saying? I'm Try what again? I'm not screaming to make myself feel better, but you know it. You, you are. You're literally it. making your, You're literally screaming to make yourself feel better. Has tried now, to push wait, amongst wait, 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 wait. I answer my question. What do you say? You're saying try what again? Try stealing this election again. Oh, you're so you're oh, so you're really stupid. Okay, okay, okay. Kids to so let me ask you this: What's your Donald what's your what's your evidence that 2020 was this what's your evidence that 2020 was unfair? Have you ever watched 2000 Mules? So wait, the, the movie that's been debunked thoroughly. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Don't, don't say. Don't say. Ballots, watch. Don't say. First of all, first of all, that's a threat, and the FBI okay, needs to come investigate your ass. If, if I hope the I hope somebody at the FBI is watching this right now and can like find out this dude. He's just saying like, yeah, he's gonna like if Kamala Harris wins, basically he's gonna like try to kill people. I mean, that's what he just said, right? He just said that the people are armed no, and if they steal the election, I said his steal, his steal version another... his version of stealing the election is Kamala Harris wins. That's what he thinks. If Kamala Harris wins, it automatically no, was unfair. No, yes, that's what you think. Now, listen, voting, listen, 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 voting. listen. Donald Trump's own Department of Justice, his anything. own FBI. Said, okay, I'm meeting it. No, no, happens. no. You're okay, buddy. Just relax. Donald Trump's own Department of Justice, his own FBI, his own Department of Homeland Security, his own family, his own lawyers, um, 60 plus court cases, and all these different people told Donald Trump that the election was not stolen. Donald Trump himself even acknowledged in some cases that the election was not stolen, right? And we just had this huge filing from Jack Smith today in the Department of Justice and the federal government in the case against Donald Trump, where Trump said, whether we lost the election or won, you still have to fight like hell. This is your guy. You got to get your head out of your, you know, out of there and, and figure it out. I think he's leaving right now, but it doesn't matter because he deserves to still get uh, debunked and all this stuff. You have literally no evidence. By the way, private firms that Don oh, you're back. Private firms that Donald Trump hired two of them that looked at the election found no fraud. So you're telling me that Donald Trump's att attorney general, his FBI director, the FBI as a whole, the Department of Homeland Security, an agency within the Department of, Ho Department of Homeland Security that he created, all these courts with judges that he appointed, all of them are just liars? Is that what you're telling me? Now figure out how to unmute. You keep talking, oh, this armed nation. Let's see if he can, he's talking, big talk about an armed nation. Let's see if he can unmute, golly. Well, no, no, I'm just saying, I want you to I want you to explain what this means to me for to never any form of government okay what you I, nobody can hear you when you go We're off the there? app we
We can't hear you when you go off the I'm app. I'm not going off the app, Harry. Yes, you are. Perception. When any form of government becomes destructive, it is up to the citizens of that people to abolish or destroy it. What does that mean, Harry? Where? What are you reading this from? If are you, you reading something right now? If you try to take away my right to pursue happiness, what does it mean that Wait, I'm supposed to destroy Wait, what are you reading right now? You're saying, you're saying, listen to this. What are you reading right now? This is strictly from the Constitution. That's not from the Constitution. You see, you... Oh my God. It's so funny because um, you came in here asking me about the Constitution. Do you know the Constitution? That's not from the Constitution. That's from the deck. That, that the thing that you're citing is from the Declaration of Independence. Yes. So, yeah. The, the Declaration of Independence is not the Constitution of the United States. Okay. Harry. Do you know that? What does it say? What did I'm asking you? Do for you know your that? Do you know that the Declaration of Independence the is not the Constitution? Can you? Does, do you don't know that? <laughs> Can you become? Can you explain that when a government becomes destructive, to the, for the right? This to is not in the Constitution. Happiness, this is not in the is Constitution. To, the to, to abolish it. This Tell is. Me what this that is. Means. Well, you're, you're asking me what your opinion means. This is not anything that's in the Constitution. It's nothing that's legally binding. In when you describe. By the way, okay, if, so you, if you, you, if you, if you, what does that mean? What this is not. Mean, this is not what in the Constitution. Mean? What does that mean? Wait, are you saying it's in the Constitution or not? I'm asking you, what does that mean? You're just saying you're just saying a random sentence and asking me what it means. It means, in your view, you think that you can commit treason. No, I'm asking you, what does it mean to destruct or destroy a government that is trying to take the right of pursuing happiness away from its citizens? This is this what is does that mean. To this abolish? is literally you're you're asking me what your opinion means. You're making up a random sentence in your head and asking what does this mean? This is like me okay. asking, well, you the green is grass the and the blue is sky liberal. and the unicorns are flying. What does it mean? What does it mean? Thank you, Ronnie, for the subscription. That makes absolutely no sense. You're citing something that is not legally binding. This is this has no effect on the United States. <laughs> so you yourself are quite literally describing treason. You're describing treason. You want to? No. Are, you're like advocating for committing treason right now. Treason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> treason is treason is is trying to overturn or destroy the government that is representing you here in the United States. You are you are literally advocating for treason. It's making me if if it's going against me, I have every right to. Uh, where where based on what? Based on what? Basing yeah, on our founding fathers' documents. It gives us wait, wait, every you're, constitutionally you're, protected you're, right. That, that's just not true. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you do not have the right to try to overturn the government. I'm sorry. You don't have that right. I don't know where you think you got this right from. I don't know where you're trying to invoke this from. There's no uh, court precedent, no nothing. Uh, that you says that you have the ability to overturn country, the government. Harry, maybe you'd understand the values of this you, country. You just confused the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. You didn't know that they're two different documents. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't talk to me about the founding yeah, right. founders and their documents and the, the values of this nation. You don't even know that you, you don't even know our founding documents and our founders. Well, come on, man. What are you talking about? It's crazy. Okay, yeah. Very good one. Yeah. It's sickening. You think Tim Walz wanted to It is sickening. It is sickening that it is sickening that, you know, people like you feel so confident in your ignorance to come up here and scream your head off. Literally scream your head off because you don't know anything about the issues you're talking about. You don't know what the Constitution is. You don't know what the Declaration oh, of Independence is. No, you don't, don't know, know what your what legal rights about. are. You don't know about immigration. You don't know that you don't know about bills that Donald Trump tried to kill. You don't know about any of this stuff. And yet you're so confident in your support of Donald Trump and yeah. you are so oh, no, nothing. No, just another dumb ignorant. supporter. Good luck in November though, Harry. Good luck yeah, thank in November. You. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, Good luck. Best of luck to you guys. I'm looking forward to it. And then, I can't you know, wait to talk to you on November 6th and laugh in your fucking face. What a what a patriotic American. This, oh, this is a real patriotic American, right? This is this is somebody who wants to this point. is somebody who wants to unite the country, right? Somebody who wants to unite the country, huh? What a joke. I mean, what a joke. You see, here's the thing. You care more about Donald Trump than you actually care about the country. Because you're sitting up here like, I can't wait to laugh in your face on November 6th. What's wrong with you? You you put you're your allegiance right. to one you're man. Right. Get him the fuck out. If you're not you're, from you're, here, you if put, you came in you illegally, put your allegiance you to one out. man Buy over the neck. country. Can't wait to watch ICE drag him out. Who? I drag who out? What are you talking about? Anyone that came across our border illegally, it'll be great watching ICE remove you. I will enjoy it with pleasure. Yeah, I'm. Oh yeah, you're. you're you see, this is like you're like such a narcissist, man. Like you have like little kids oh, who Donald yeah, Trump no, wants to absolutely. deport. Like you these. Know, no, no, hold on. Have you have, you have these the little kids. Threat, you have these little kids that Donald Trump wants to deport. These kids who have all they've known is the United States, and you're saying, yeah, I can't wait to watch ICE drag them out. What's wrong with you?
Like genuinely, what's wrong with you? You are like, I, I take back anything I've said about you prior to this conversation that's somewhat positive. You are fundamentally a bad person. You put your allegiance oh, to Donald Trump I, over the I, country I, and you're now like celebrating little kids being deported. I mean, what's well, like, genuinely, you are, Trump you are a bad being person. Assassinated. So I hope that's I'm when, really, really when, hope when, the best for when, you as well. when, when, when. Well, you know, you know when you were attempted and visited by the Secret Service. You know what you What are you made talking about? Inciting, what the fuck are you talking about? Violence, Harry? What you the fuck what are you done? talking about? You know you Oh my god, this is too. see this is you are you are, you are is, so goddamn delusional. You belong bro. perfectly to that party. You would never be never be a right person ever, even an independent because you're brainwashed. You are brainwashed. And you, I hope you, one you, day buddy, when you, grow you think up, that the you think you that the election in 2020 was unfair after all of this different evidence debunked <laughs> every single thing stolen? you said. You, you have the Biden worst you have the worst uh, condition of confirmation bias. You, you see think, evidence you that might support your view and you automatically think, think yeah, it's fake. You think he got 81? You're, You're full. Of like, you, shit. Do you have any evidence to support your view, or do you just like, or do you just watch straight yeah, up propaganda that's fe here. that's spoon fed to you like a little baby? Choo You're choo, right. here comes You're a train. Right. Choo watched, choo watched, choo choo, and they I just put the applesauce video. in your goddamn mouth and you swallow it. I watched it. an animated video of the ballot boxes getting stuffed. Yeah, no, you You're know right. what? That vi the, the the videos that you're talking about have been debunked. You know why? Because they were taken in states where people can take the ballots oh, no, of their Democrat. family members who have been signed and <laughs> packaged and then dump them in the ballot boxes. And see, when I'm Throw debunking you and telling you the truth, you thank you, Keith, from Kiki, for the subscription. When I'm telling you the truth, you still are screaming your face off uh, in lies. You're laughing. You you don't care you're about the truth. Liberal. You don't. Here's a here's a problem. You. Again, you don't care about America. You don't care about making this country better. Oh, you care America. about you Donald don't. Trump. You Your don't. profile you picture is here. Donald Trump. Absolutely. Yeah, Can't wait you don't November, care. Baby. You Woo. don't care about making the country. He's leaving right now. Point is, this guy does not care about making the country better. He cares about Donald Trump. That's all he cares about. That's all he cares about. That's all he cares about. He doesn't like, and that's the thing. I don't think that all Republicans are like that. But this guy, this guy only cares about Donald Trump. If it makes Donald Trump's life better, it makes his life better. If it makes America better but hurts Donald Trump, then he's against it. That's why, like, the immigration bill we talk about all the time, right? The immigration bill. That would help America. This is a bill that was worked on by Democrats and Republicans. Finally, some bipartisanship in Washington, D.C. That bill would help America, would hurt Donald Trump's election chances because he wouldn't have an issue to run on. What does he do? He celebrates Donald Trump killing that bill. He celebrates it. He loves it. He loves it. It's disgraceful. It genuinely is disgraceful. These folks, a lot of these folks do not care about America. They don't care about American democracy. They care about Donald Trump. It's disgraceful. Alicia, thank you for the $20 saying, uh, giving me hope on Venmo. I appreciate you, Alicia. Thank you so much. Um, Sophie, thank you for the $1 saying, I cannot believe the person you just debated. Very scary. I hope you're feeling better. I'd send more, but I'm broke. We will be the ones laughing at him when Kamala wins. Sophie, thank you so much. And remember, you don't have to send anything. The fact that you're just here supporting means a lot. It means more than anything else. So Sophie, um, thank you. And make sure to get out there and vote for Kamala Harris. You know, you know what I'm saying? Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio. If you want to support the live, it's at the very bottom. Of all, that, of all that stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you're MAGA in the chat. I'll bring you up and uh, we can talk. All right. You can tell me why you're MAGA. That guy was a goddamn lunatic, man. A goddamn lunatic. What a, what a, what a crazy, crazy guy, man. What a crazy guy, man. Oh, look at this. Patriot Lauren. Are you kidding me? That's a username. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Let's see. Oh, she is still here. Great. Uh, make oh. sure to drop a follow if you haven't already. Again, Venmo Cash App oh. in the link in the Hi, bio. Harry. Hi, Hello, I look my camera on, but I look a hot mess right now. How, um, how old are you? you? Huh? How How old are you? I'm 34. Oh, okay, good. All right. Yeah. yeah um, I'm, I'm, I'm not that young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Just making sure you got to be above the age of 18 to be on TikTok. You know. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, why are you MAGA? Why, why is your name Patriot Lauren? And oh, you it's... have MAGA in your bio. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm just going to was going to say a couple of things. That's all um, I am because um, I do support him. And I just right now, I like, go by example, the last two presidencies. So from 2016 to 2020, 2020, 2024, was I doing better off then with Trump or better off now with Harris? Financially, a lot of other ways I was doing better under Trump. And so if I had to pick t one of the other candidates, that's why I'm going for Trump, because right now, um, you know, the immigration thing's a big issue. Financially, it's a big issue. I'm a single mom. Um, everything has like doubled. My mortgage went up. Um, just taxes went up. It's just like, it's just really hard right now. And um, that's just one reason why 
the difference just going by what how I was then and then how I was the last three and a half years has been really rough. So I'm sorry. First of all, sorry to hear about all that. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. But what I would say is that that's not that's not because of Joe Biden and Donald Trump is not going to fix it. Like, I, I mean, maybe I can save us the time, but let me ask you this question. And I think the answer will be Dan will telling of this. What's Donald Trump's policy to solve these things? What's his policy to bring down your costs? Energy. Energy. And how, how is he going to do that? He's going to drill um, in America. He's going to, everything's going to be within America and not from uh -huh. giving money to Ukraine. Everything's going to be America first and doing things here. So do you know we're drilling oil right now more than we were under Donald Trump? Then why is everything so expensive? Because that's the lie that Donald Trump tells you. He says this one thing by drilling more in the United States, everything's going to become cheaper. That's utter nonsense. And the data shows that like we're, we're drilling more than we were under Donald Trump. We're drilling more now than we ha ever have before in American history. Drilling and drilling more oil and producing more oil here in the United States will not solve this problem. And also oil prices, gas prices at the pump are not based on how much oil we're drilling in the United States. It's based on global markets, how much oil there is in supply for the, the, the entire world. Thank you, Mary, for the subscription. Uh, it's not based on domestic markets. So Trump gets up there and then lies to you and tells you that, oh, I'm going to do this and it's going to solve it. That's not a policy. That's not a position. And you know, just for some civics 101, the president does not control gas prices. So this, this whole policy is based off of lies. Okay. And then another thing you, is just, just, um, just some of the views differences between the Democrats and conservatives, the views I have morally. Um, and that's why I couldn't support voting for a, a Such Democrat. As? Um, I'm, I'm pro-life, a couple other things, just stuff like that. So, um, but I mean, I've researched a lot, like I know you guys talk about in here and I'm, I'm a very nice person. I, I look into everything before I make a decision, but I just want to come on and say, hey, because I have seen a lot of videos about you. I just never talked to you before. Okay. <laughs> but, um, well, but yeah, so I haven't changed my mind. I'm still, you know, voting for Trump. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to come in and say why I was MAGA and I wanted to say hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. then I, I will, I'll let you go. I won't take any more of your time, but I appreciate you coming up. Um, yeah. Yeah. And well, if I, if I can't change your mind, then we'll leave it there. Well, I hope you have a great night. Thank you, Harry. Right. Thank you. I appreciate you too. All right. Uh, Mary, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, by the way, and everybody that's sending gifts. I think I just saw Lauren right there, I think, um, said something. Um, that that breaks talk, that that conversation like breaks my heart, man. That breaks my heart. Like hearing folks like that, like, Brayden, thank you for the $5. Uh, been a day one, Harry. Yo, Brayden, thank you so much, man. Thank you for the long-time support. I appreciate that. Thank you for the $5 on Venmo. And JW, thank you for the $100 on Venmo. You know what this is for. You're awesome, and I support you a 1,000%. Please show JW some love in the chat. He is always here supporting the live. Make sure to fill the chat with Ws for JW. Uh, he's a great guy. Chris and I know him. He's a, a fantastic person. Thank you so much, JW, for the $100. That is incredibly generous. He's always here supporting the live, ladies and gentlemen. So please show him the love that he shows us and, and, and Chris and I and in democracy just generally. So please fill the chat with Ws for JW. That's a great guy right there. Thank you so much, man. And Ray, thank you for the $25 on Cash App as well. And John, thank you for the $25 on Cash App as well. I appreciate you guys so much. Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio if you want to support the live. Um, it goes a long way. All right, let's see here. Who do we got? Who do we got? Let's put in Justin. Uh, drop him in here. Make sure to drop again, again, drop a follow if you haven't already. Double tap the screen. Let's try to get to 100. I'm sorry. We're way past 100,000. Try to get to 400,000 likes. Double tap in and fill up the bar once. <laughs> Go a long way. All right, Justin, uh, why are you MAGA? I'm MAGA because he's better than fucking Biden. That's for damn sure, bro. Well, we're all, I'm sure this conversation is going to be another great one, ladies and gents. Okay, why? Why do you, why do you say okay, that? Okay, talk shit about me, bro. I don't give a fuck. Talk shit. You gotta talk shit about everybody, don't you? Why, why don't you get a real job, bro? Why don't you get a real job? Yeah, keep yapping. Why? Why do you? Why do you say I can't that? Why do you? Because you're, you're are you you're disrespectful. Are you, gonna answer, are, you are you here? Are you here to debate or not? Are you just here to like air out your grievances? This isn't therapy. I'm not your therapist. You should go to therapy because I don't care if you want therapist. Shut um, up. I, you need I'm a not. Your, but I, yeah, I'm not do, your ther. I'm not your. Th Wait, do you say you hate therapy? I said you need a therapist more than I do, bro. Do you, Maybe do you, clean your do you, ears do you agree with therapy generally or saying. no? Do you Dumb agree with fuck. therapy? Do you agree with therapy generally or no? What's your view on that? No, but you need it. You so you don't agree with therapy. That tells us a lot. All right, why are you supporting Donald Trump? Because <clears throat> he's better, dude. Okay, what Tara's gonna do? How how is how is he better? Dude, we have our own oil. We don't have to go to Saudi or anything for oil. We have it here in the state. Yeah, shake your head. 
Because you don't know shit, bro. That's why you're, you're shaking your head. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You're mad, bro. You're cooked. You, have, you haven't said anything. You haven't said anything. You're you're the most unpatriotic person there is, bro. You, you haven't you haven't you haven't said anything. You haven't said anything. Can you like can you articulate why you support Donald Trump? You're not saying anything, right? Right now. Because dude, he's about our troops. He's about everything. He's about making yeah. America great again. So, um, what about when Donald Trump urged the Saudi Arabia to raise their oil output in 2018? You said that he doesn't go to Saudi Arabia for oil. How about? We don't. He, dude, 20, that's in, that's freaking in, fake news, bro. CNN. Wow. It's, CNN. It's, I mean, it's BBC. Yeah, you know what BBC stands for, right? British British Broadcasting. Duh! No shit, Sherlock. Yeah. Fake so, news. Does it, it stands, doesn't apply to us. Just in to America. be clear here, British Broadcasting stands for fake news. Uh, maybe I honestly I say go back to high school civics, but maybe you need to go back to elementary spelling. I mean, Jesus Christ, just learn the goddamn See, there alphabet. You go, there you so go, bro. in 2018, no, in 2018, Donald phone, Trump. Bro. And Donald Trump went to Saudi Arabia asking them to increase their oil production. So you're saying under Joe Biden, we have to go to Saudi Arabia. But under Donald Trump, he literally did exactly what you're describing. No, he didn't, bro. He opened up the... Keystone this is a picture of him idiot. in Saudi Arabia. Do you Fake think he news, went bro. there just for fun? He opened up the Keystone Pipeline that Biden and Harris shut down, the, you stupid ass. So, so just to be clear here, do you, are you arguing that he was in Saudi Arabia... Hanging with the it crown prince and things like that. So this is a fake photo. Should be, yeah. Should be. This, oh my God. BBC, Fox News, MSNBC, CNN are fake news, bro. What's real news to you? I don't watch the news because it's all propaganda so bullshit. So where do you get, where do you get like your you. news? Where do you get your news? I don't so get my this, news from anywhere. I don't watch news. So this photo is fake of Donald Trump in Saudi Arabia? Could and, be. And this photo is fake. And this really? photo's fake, and this photo, and this photo. Dude, what are you trying to do? Photo. Are you trying to be a little kid? All, all of these photos are fake? Yeah. So you're just goddamn delusional. You just, you just don't believe anything. I Where, don't so, believe propaganda bullshit that the news spreads. This is not propaganda. These are photos of Donald Trump. Do you know what propaganda means? Do you know what it means? Yeah, I'm a, Yes, you're using it incorrectly. No, you you're just saying you're so that funny. anything yeah. is propaganda. That's not what propaganda is. My God. First of all, it's not what propaganda is. Second of all, you're claiming that all these photos of Donald Trump in Saudi Arabia are fake. If he was in Saudi Arabia, he was there to, for NATO and all that. Because we do have troops out there in NATO. Dumbass. We have, we have, we have NATO troops in, in Saudi Arabia? We have troops... In Saudi Arabia, training the Sa Iraqis. Saudi Arabia is not a NATO country. It's going to be when Trump they, gets they in do not have an They do not have an application to join NATO. Let me what? ask you this. Um, Holy let me ask you this. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's all you can say, huh? Let me ask you this. Do you support our troops? Of course. Do you support our troops? Yes. Do you support our troops? Answer I've, my I've question. Said, I've answered yes three times. Of no, you don't. Of course. No, you don't. Oh, so that, that's all no, you were setting up for? You were Biden just saying, no, you don't. Troops. Really? Is Biden that why Biden Is that why Biden uh, passed the PACT Act, the largest expansion of veterans' health care in decades? Dude, he had blood on his hands. How? How? He does. What, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? He has blood on his hands, bro. What are you, what are you talking about? And I'm about? like you, of course, you're not going to want it. Of course, you don't want him to say their names, even though he should. He, he, are you talking about the 13 American soldiers? Yes. Yeah, when they died, he gave names. a speech. Say yeah, their when names. He, then, when, then you when, for, for Biden say their names. Then for when Biden they, say their names. When they died, Biden gave say a speech. Say their names. No, can you, no, can you stop talking? Say the thirteen names. Na name five say of their them. Names. Name five of them. Say their names. You Go name ahead. Them. Say, say their names. Go ahead. No, I'm telling you. Well, exactly. You don't know their names. You're, you're just not, saying like you're not gonna break it's, this me, is all. It's all like it's all talking points. You're just like you don't even know what you're. You don't even know the information you're trying to to spread out, right? You don't even know. You're saying like say their names. You don't even know any of these people. You couldn't name their names if you tried. There's a gun to your head. Say their names. Now say their names. Joe Biden, their names. when they died, say gave a speech names. at the White say House where he said every say single one of them. This is something that Donald names. Trump and the Republicans have consistently names. ignored. But it doesn't change the truth that Joe Biden did this at the White House. The day when they died, he gave a speech at the White House and said all of their names now uh do, do you are you no, under the said, same view are you are you of the same are you of the same view ass. that donald trump has blood on his hands because more american soldiers died under donald trump than joe biden nope dude you're so full of shit no that's, via, more blood that's via government agencies who are tracking american deaths in active combat 
You're so fucking stupid, bro. I, I'm citing. I'm sorry that government data triggers you. You're a little bro, snowflake. You need to get a I real say. job, bro. Like, fuck. You do yeah, I, I understand. I understand that um, real data taxes? triggers Probably you. Probably not, huh? Oh do yeah. Oh down? yeah. No, for sure. Do you, for sure. Do you for piss sure. sitting down, bro? Jesus. Do you, man, you are. You are. You are. Like, I can't. You have, you have a wife and kids. That's that's neither here nor there, bro. Do you, so, you have, do you have a family? Matter. You have a wife and kids? I said that question is, is that, neither. Is that your wife? Is there. that your wife in your profile picture? Neither, neither here nor there. So Doesn't yeah, I mean, we're sure you can keep saying that. Uh, but if if you have a wife and kids, you are a perfect example that there's hope for everybody. Um, and you're, anybody per, can, you're a perfect example anybody for, can find love. for being a lazy ass motherfucker to be on oh, fucking yeah, I'm TikTok sure. asking yeah, for money. Yeah, I'm, I'm the lazy guy be, when you're the one you saying that every bro, photo of Donald Trump is just straight up propaganda. I mean, bro, go God. be a garbage guy. Every, everybody can find love, man. Driver, if this if if this guy right here can find love, I guarantee there's hope for you. There's somebody out there. There's somebody out there. No worry. Bro, if this guy I, if this guy can bro, do this and have kids, man. If this guy can do this and have kids, man. I mean, golly. Golly, just guy, somebody, somebody, somebody get this guy. Don't. Somebody get this guy. Look at, you drinking, look at you drinking out the cup like a girl, bro. Drinking out. Oh the yeah, you know. Like like, girl, sorry, bro. I drink water out of a cup with ice. It's so girly. Oh no, god, bro, it's so terrible. It's like so girl, terrible. Huh? Huh? Mm. And look with your Taylor Swift Drinking braces water on. is so. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah! Look I got some French bra French braces. You're damn right. Look at these things. They're fire. What did you know? What this one says? It's not fire for a You know what this one says, You know what this one says? It says, "When we fight, we win." Kamala Harris's. Kamala Harris. We fight, we win. This one's fire. This one says emerge. This one is a Biden care, bracelet. Bro. We don't care. Hell I yeah. don't care. You can. Hey, listen. You insult. You insult the friendship bracelets all you want. You insult. I think they're fire. It don't matter. It don't. It don't matter. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident in these friendship bracelets, man. I'll wear them. I'll, yeah, I wear well, the. I wear well, them like outside. The like the guy listen, before, listen, before, listen. If if, better, if, if anybody wants like to kid. give me more friendship bracelets, I'll wear them. I'm not even lying. Give me them. Go ahead. Nah. I mean, look, look, the chat seems to like them. The chat's like, yeah, look, the bracelets are fire, says TS. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, Justin, you have anything of uh, substance to say, or are you just going to keep screaming at the wall? I, I bet you're like the, the uncle at Thanksgiving, where everybody's like looking at the door, being like, oh, oh my God, I go. hope Justin yeah, doesn't show up. I hope Justin doesn't show up. Ideas. And then Justin walks in with his Trump body pillow, being like, this is Trumpia. And uh, they're like, God, he's tanked already. Please have him Bro, leave. You're not <laughs> making sense right now. You, do, you, do you come on here just to talk? I'm just, to I'm just, creating, I'm just creating lore. I'm just creating lore about not, you in real time. Did you not time. get attention growing up? Were you like? Yeah, so, that, that's what it is. I, you know, that's what it is. I just, I, I, I oh man, it's that. so terrible. I just have to come up here and debunk no Trump supporters for that now. very reason. Listen, go back to Trumpia, the body pillow. It's waiting for you. Wash it. No, you got to wash no. it. Wash it every no, five going, to seven I'm days. I'm going back to my so-called wife. Something that you would never know about. Well, as I said, Justin, girl, if, if that's where, if if that's true, you have a wife, then you are truly that an example that there's love for anybody. Anybody can find a partner in this world, and I think that's beautiful. What, a, nah, what an amazing I, relationship I that, you have the, going for yourself. The, the only, By the way, the I listen. I, I hope that the like I hope bro. that the I hope that the wife is real. I hope she's an actual person because the Trump body pillow that many of you buy, by the way. Is not. Uh, oh it doesn't God. count, dude. It's fake. Insult, it's fake. Man. So go take, go take the, go take the body pillow and maybe wash it, buddy. Throw it in the, the washer, all right? Throw it in the washer. You got it. You got to take. <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, uh, make sure, <laughs> make sure you keep double tapping the screen. I'll try to get the five hundred thousand likes. I love making fun of those people, and I'll do it proudly. Cali, thank you for the one dollar. Let's run college football. I'm ranked two thousand in the world. Cap. Cab, 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 cab. Nicole, thank you for the fifty dollars saying for your fake job. <laughs> Nicole, I appreciate you. Show some love for Nicole in the chat. Fifty dollars. You kidding me from Nicole? Look at that. Look at and look at a bunch of people on Venmo as well, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Nicole, for the fifty dollars. That's incredibly generous. Uh, uh, throw some W's in the chat for Nicole, please. What an amazing person. Uh, Alejandro, thank you for the one dollar. Don't even bother. This guy yells. This guy yells every time he debates. I, I wouldn't call that a debate, man. Uh, I would call that just his uh, screaming session. Liam, thank you for the one dollar. Sick live. You play, watch any? I don't. I don't watch hockey. Uh, Jenna, thank you for the five dollars. Please ask him if he knows the branches of government. I should have. I should have. Alicia, thank you for the fifty dollars as well. Saying real job. Oh, Alicia, I appreciate that so much. Nicole and Alicia, both with fifty dollars for the real job. I appreciate you both. Thank you guys so much. That's incredibly kind. Shout out Alicia. Shout out Nicole. Throw some W's in the chat for both of them. They're amazing. And Annie, thank you for the ten dollars. Saying for being a lazy blank blank. Can't say that on TikTok live, but. Um, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you. All right, let's bring in Will. I am. I just sent him an invite if he wants to come up. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Anna. Oh, look at Anna saying shout out Trump. Excuse me in the chat. Will, hello. Are you MAGA? What's up, Perry? Why are you MAGA? Listen, man, I'm independent. 
I, I really, I didn't care less about either one of them. But I, I gotta tell you, dude, I gotta be honest with you. You're pretty, pretty slick. I'll give you that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You do your homework. But listen, man, on the truth of the matter, we can all go back and pull up crap on both of them. On Trump and Kamala. Neither one of them are really that great. I don't know why why everybody's debating like they are about it. It's kind of the truth of the matter is you got to pick the better of the evil. Uh, well, I disagree. I think Kamala Harris is pretty great, um, and there's a lot great about her. And even if you're like, oh, yeah, there's negative things about both of them, I'd say that, yeah, there's negative things about um, everybody in this world. Not everybody's perfect. Not everybody's been perfect their entire lives. But the difference is there's a lot more negative about Donald Trump than Kamala Harris. Right. Donald Trump assaults women, commits crime, commits business fraud and has been indicted many times, more times um, than, you know, you'd like to even believe for a, a president. One is already enough Four, my God, we're talking crazy numbers here. But and then with Kamala Harris, yeah, maybe she's done some bad things in her life. Maybe she's not always been perfect, but that's natural. That's human. So that's that's the difference. It's not, that's not really, uh, it's not really accurate. It's not really accurate. Really? I mean, what's the worst thing that you guys making points all the time about how Donald Trump's got all these felonies, he's got all this, he's got all that. Yeah. No, but the fact of the matter is, it's all gonna be thrown out after this is all over anyway. So why Why? is this such a big deal now? Why would it be thrown out? (laughs) It's gonna, it's gonna get thrown out. But based on what? The fact is, it's not true. Really? So, yeah, it's not true. What's not true about, what's not true about any of these? indictments of Donald it's a coup Trump. man it's a coup it's a do you know what a coup is yeah it's made up that's not what a coup is not it's uh, made up it's not uh, another word for fiction uh they're not synonymous um I, how, how what's made up about it like what are you talking about every bit of it's made up man you know he didn't they he, how's he gonna get 34 felonies first of all because he committed the crime I, he went before a jury and a, a unanimous jury by the way the jury was selected by his took lawyers one thing and made 34 and felonies out of it he took no, one he thing and made 34 felonies out of it. He didn't do one thing. Yeah, he that's did. Why, that's, that's what you don't understand. It's He did. Uh, he falsified business records in the first degree 34 times. No. That's like saying, oh, you 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 killed one person, or you, you only you only kill people. It's only doing one thing. If you kill 34 people, no, you killed 34 people. You did it. You did this action 34 times. Just like in New York City, he falsified business records in the first degree 34 times. So you don't think he's going to beat all these charges? He he quite literally has not beat the charges. He's yeah, I quite said, literally you don't think guilty. he's going to. He's going to. He's been found guilty. But it's all gonna get thrown out. Watch. But you don't, but here's the thing. You don't. You're making. You're saying. Oh, it's just gonna get thrown out. Just because that's what you want to believe. You don't actually have any factual basis for believing that it's gonna get thrown out. There's no legal issue with his 34 felonies that, were, that came down in New York. There's no legal issue with his January 6th indictment, his Georgia indictment, or the Florida indictment that's going to be reinstated. And legitimately, they're not even 34 right now because they're still fighting it because they doubt some of it is coming off. So the, why do you guys keep saying stuff like that? It's not factual truth. He's been found guilty of 34 felonies. That, sh- that, that fact has not changed. That has changed. Maybe you should go read up on it again and look up and look at it. Go, go look it up. What look are it you up. talking about? Go look it up. No, no, no. Uh, you, 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 you have to provide a source here because tell me what the mechanism is for overturning the felony. Because he's having to go back and change the charges now. He has to go back and change all the charges. It, it, he's not even thinking that they okay. can use what they had so me, for the jury just, trial, dude. Let me just. So there was a jury trial. Are you not familiar with this? I just said that. Did you just not hear say that? That's what I just said. That, so you agree that there was a jury trial? Yes, but he's having to go back and change the jury's decision. Who's changing the jury's decision? Because of the, because of the Supreme Court's decision. He has to go back and change the uh, what they said he was guilty for. No, no. Because he couldn't no. use it all. There, so in New York City right now, Donald Trump is saying that the immunity decision applies to his 34 felony counts. So far, that effort has been very unsuccessful. Sentencing is going forward. It's going to take place after the election. Sentencing in this case is going forward. Donald Trump will be sentenced. But he won't be tried for all 34 things. That's what I'm telling you. They're going to have to waive some of it. Let me, let me explain something to you. He was already tried for the 34 felonies. He was found guilty of them. Yeah. And then the, the Supreme Court came down with the decision that he had immunity. 
for 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 some things. He doesn't just. It's not like oh, Donald Trump. So just some of the thirty-four charges ain't going to stick because of it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Again, they're not charges; they're convictions, and, and they, they will ain't stick. Be convictions because they will. They will stick them. because falsifying business records is not protected conduct, especially because the majority of the crime took place before he was president. Well, we'll see about that when it's over. When it goes, then they come back. Yeah, well, we will see about it. But I'm very scared that you've, you. I don't know where you're getting this information from. That some of them have been dropped or what? I, you gotta, because you know, they are going to be dropped. Most you, of them will be dropped. Well, I'm previously you, you said that they have stay. been dropped. Huh? Previ okay. Let me ask you. Maybe let, let me ask you. Maybe a more simple question. You're saying that the immunity decision from the Supreme Court would apply to Donald Trump, and that uh, the the felonies are going to get dropped, or some of them are going to get dropped. Some of them will Why? be. Why? Why? What, Why? What part because of the some of, Court because some of the stuff they use in the trial has to be taken off, such as such as the woman. That stuff was all the, all the stuff about the woman that was in there that they're going back on. That all has to be dropped because they can't Wait, use what, it. Wait, what woman? The one they said he was sleeping with, the one that was Stormy in there. The one, yeah, the one that was in there. Well, the how how is Stormy Daniels and him having an affair protected by the Supreme Court? This was before he was president. Because her her statement, her her all her stuff that she said has to be thrown out of court. Why? How is it protected by immunity? Because it was protected by immunity. It was it was way how? out of date. Because it, it was past time. The Supreme Court decision says nothing about past time. Yeah, but it's like, part of his uh, immunity. Wait, just before... to be, are you familiar with what immunity actually is? Yeah, I am. Are okay, you? it only applies to when he's president. So anything he did before January 20th, 2017, and anything he did after January 20th, 2021, is not covered by any level of immunity. And even some conduct as president is not absolutely immune. Well, I have a feeling that most of that's going to get dropped, and we'll see at the end well, of it. You have a feeling, but your feeling is based off of nothing. It's based off of that. We're well, going to see that that's what happens. Okay. Uh huh. And yeah. And uh... I just want to know why you guys think that this is what we're we're doing so much better right now than what we've Yo, been doing. Yo, JW, thank you for the another hundred dollars on Venmo. Saying another hundred, dude. That dude was so difficult. I share your pain. You need I appreciate to tell me your, your life job. so much better. Yo, JW, right now. thank you so much, JW. Yo, throw some W's for JW in the chat for another hundred dollars, my man. I appreciate you so much, JW. Shout out, JW. Another hundred dollars. Show some love for him in the chat. I appreciate that, man. A lot. Appreciate you, my man. Sorry. Continue. What do you ask? Is your life so much better now than it was four years ago? Yes. Yes. yes what yes. it is? Yeah, definitely. How's it better? How? What? You the only American, the only person in America with better life? Yeah. Well, I think my, I think everybody's life is infinitely better. And what became infinitely better on uh, January twentieth, twenty twenty one, the minute that Donald Trump left office, that just made it made us infinitely better off. With that being the case, uh, how, did make, we don't, how did it make you better off? That's what we don't have not. a child in the Oval off. Office again. Huh? We didn't have we didn't have a child in the Oval Office anymore. We had like really competent people um, doing you went their from jobs. a child to a baby. What? You went from a child to a baby. You went from Donald Trump being the child to, to Biden being the baby. You're right. So how to make it better? God, this is so painful. It's actually it's actually genuinely painful to talk to um, folks like you. Um, it's 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 tough. So um, yeah, no, my point is, is that we went from let me maybe maybe let me put it in more simple terms without the analogy. We went from somebody who doesn't know what he's doing, Donald Trump, somebody who's incompetent, somebody who only cares about himself to Joe Biden, somebody who does know what he's doing, has served this country for his entire life uh, and is very competent. How are you going to say the man didn't care about his country? The man was rich. He didn't have the he didn't even, want, he didn't even take his paychecks, dude. I don't care. I, yeah, that's great. I'm glad that he donated to charity. That's fantastic. He didn't have to go um, in office and be here for America, but he did. Yeah, and that's that's. I'm glad that he donated his his, his uh, paycheck. But just because he has money and he served as president doesn't mean that oh, he automatically cares about the country. You can be like ultra wealthy and want to destroy the country that you're in. There's, it's not like uh, inherent. That's why that, they call oh, it if you debating. serve and you have a certain amount of money, that means you care about the country. No, that's nonsense. That's Donald why they Trump call craves, it. Donald Trump craves power. That's what he wanted. That's the only thing he didn't really have. He had money. That's why they call this a debate money, because we're debating something. That, power. We're debating. We're debating what you feel and what I feel. That's what we're doing. We're debating. That's what the, what the true debate really is, to be honest with you. We have a right to this our is, own opinions. This that's is, a this true is, debate. Uh, okay. Okay. It's this not is because just, your just narrative is better than mine. But the problem is we can't even agree on the facts. That's when the debate crumbles. If we can't agree on the facts. Because you don't have facts. You, you, 
That's you your said opinion. That, you said That's that your 30, opinion. You said that some of the 34 felonies got dropped, my man. I, no, I, I, I didn't know, say I they got I dropped. I said is, they're going to get dropped. I don't Why think don't you this, fucking speak what I say? You literally said that. You no, literally I said, said they're going to get dropped is what I said. No, you said that. And by no, the way, after you said that, you told me to go read a book or like go read this online. You literally yeah, said that. Yeah, go read that. his charges. They will be dropped. That's what I said. No, you said that they were, or some of the. No, I never said they were dropped. anything. You just don't know what you're okay, saying. Okay. You just uh -huh, have I'm a sure. true Wait, debate. By the way, these these lives are always recorded. By the way, so we can. Well, good. Go, we, back, we, go back and listen. Then go I can't back do it right now. It. It go back and listen to it. Yeah, can you listen? I can't do it while the live is live. I have to do it after the live. Well, um, no shit. Well, you didn't know that just a moment ago. But I'm telling you, I just told you that you don't. Here's the problem: we can't even agree on the the facts. If we can't agree on the facts, we can't have a conversation. You don't even know what immunity is. You didn't know that immunity only applies to when you're president. You said that Stormy Daniels somehow fell under immunity, which is utter nonsense. It's also not even what Donald Trump is I said arguing. Stuff over, he, over Stormy Daniels is going to be dropped. You know, you said immunity applies to Stormy Daniels. That it was it was too old. I said it after the immunity charges, after they passed that in the Supreme Court, the immunity stuff. That's when they're going to throw all no, that stuff you, out. Oh my God! Is what okay, I said. So you, one moment you say one thing and another you say the next. It's like a, pick a side. Like you said that the immunity thing. Maybe applies you to should. Hey, you right. know what you should do, bro, Harry? I think maybe you should take your you hear hearing things off, man, and clean them out so uh, that we can hear a little uh, better. Good one. That was really funny. I, you got the whole squad laughing. That was good. Very creative. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. This, this is what you said. Um, we all heard it. There's 4,800 people in here who heard it. Um, but point is, you, you don't know what the immunity decision is. You don't know what any of this stuff is. So I don't think that this, I don't think that the fact problem we're having here is a me problem. I think it's a you problem with not uh, understanding what immunity actually is and things like that. I understand exactly what it is. Okay, describe it to me. Immunity is when he's a president. When he's president, and he has immunity from stuff that he does while he's a president. I know exactly what it means. Okay, so what qualifies for absolute immunity, and what qualifies so what for I was, presumptive immunity? So what I was trying to tell you originally, what I said, is all that stuff. Even though what what Stormy had said after the immunity thing, because before that they couldn't. They were some of that stuff they were able to use. Some of it they can't use now because after that after that judgment, some of that was stuff what happened after the immunity. No, nothing mm -hmm. revolving Stormy Daniels can't be used. Then why'd they say that? Who, who's they? Who's they said that? Who's they? Uh, the, the actual judge. That's the why judge he's having to change some of his. He, he did say he's having to the change judge some did of it not now. Say that. Okay, he didn't say that? The judge hasn't ruled on any of this stuff. No, he has to drop some of it, and that's what he said. He hasn't had to The judge has not said he has to drop any of it. Okay. Well, we'll Please, see if he do does. me a favor. Do me a favor, Will. Do me a favor. Swipe out of TikTok. If you, or do you have another device in front of you, or you, or you only have your phone? Not right now. I just got the phone. Okay, so do me a favor. Swipe out of TikTok, and go try to find an article for me. You know, from any of the main main uh, outlets that says that the judge dropped some evidence from the case, or they had to. Go he said he was thing. going. He's he's going to. Or, or that he was going to. Or that he was he was going to drop the Stormy Daniels evidence. Please go do that. He didn't say he was going to drop all of it. If he didn't say he was going to drop all of it. He said he was going to drop some of it off to what, he, what his decision was. Go, go find it. That's why he was prolonging it. Go go find it. I, already, I don't have to find it. I already know. That's what he said. He said no, no, that. No, he prove, said that prove, last year. Prove your argument. Prove your argument. Uh, well, you'll see it's going to be proved when it's all when he when he gets no, no, in no, office. I, I, I don't need. I don't need. Oh, I don't need. Oh, you're going to go see it. You're going to see it happen. You'll trust me. You're going to see it. Your entire source right now is trust me, bro. I don't need a trust me, bro. I need an actual source. So swipe up out of TikTok. You'll see the source. Go he's going to win. Article. Go find he's going to win, and then they'll all drop. Go, and by I'm the way, this guy you. this guy came in here and said that he's an independent. Uh, go find me an article that says that the judge said he's going to drop some of these this, these pieces of evidence. You'll see yourself, just like I will. See, okay, all right. So, are you? If you're not listening, if you're not going to provide any sources, you're not. We can't have a normal conversation. So, are you going to go find it or not? Well, you can't have any more carrier conversations. Right. Have a good one, Will. I appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Yep. yep. Molly, thank you for the five dollars. Saying, got into a debate today and felt so much better prepared from your lives. Appreciate everything you do. Amazing job, Molly. Good for you. I'm glad that uh, you're out there debating, and uh, I'm incredibly thankful that. Um, you're here and supporting. That means a lot. Mark, thank you for the $40 twice. I hope you meant that twice. I hope you meant that. If not, I can send 40 back. But Mark, thank you for the $40 twice saying support for his patients, intelligence and integrity and dealing with very interesting, ignorant people. Yo, Mark, thank you so much for the $40, $80, I should say. That's incredibly kind. I appreciate that. Thank you, my man. Lauren, thank you for the $2 saying thank you for just being awesome and doing what you do. I wish I could send more and transgender for Harris. Lauren, again, please never feel pressure to send anything. You don't have to send any amount. The fact that you're just here means a lot. Thank you, Lauren. William, thank you for the $50 as well, saying this is from the DNC. Thank you for your service. And then followed up with saying, JK, 
obviously. Uh, William, or yeah, William, thank you so much for the $50. Show some love for William in the chat. That's incredibly kind. Thank you, William. I appreciate that. W's in the chat for William. Thank you. And W's in the chat for Mark and everybody. I appreciate all you guys. Ivy, thank you for the $20 saying thanks for educating the uneducated. I mean, we try, man. We try. It's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a tough, tough task for these people. Tough to ask for these people. Um, I just invited JP, I think. Uh, Gwen, thank you for the $5 saying, money towards your first trash truck so you can finally be the trash man that one guy on TikTok says should be your future career. There you go. There we go. Where it's, a, it's, a, it's an investment, everybody. Amy, thank you for the $20. I appreciate you saying for talking to dumb blanks. Can't say that on TikTok Live, but I share your sentiment, Amy. Sassy, thank you for the $75 saying, David, aka Sassy Sailor, friend of Dean and Parker. Sassy Sailor, appreciate you so much. Thank you for uh, the $75. That's crazy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's incredibly kind. God, that's incredibly kind. I appreciate you. Thank you. It's very nice. Sassy Sailor, thank you for the $75. Show some love in the chat for Sassy. That's incredibly kind. I appreciate you. Um, wow. And Lisa, thank you for the $10. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate you being here. Christina, thank you for the $3. Saying, again, sorry it's not more. Texas, please vote blue. Again, Christina, please don't ever feel pressured to send more. You are amazing. Thank you for just being here generally. Stacy, thank you for the $10. Saying, Justin is mad. He doesn't have friendship bracelets. I agree. Um, thoughts on Dean versus Bryce? Dean is going to destroy him in a debate. Anyway, Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio if you want to support the live. I've just invited a couple of people. They have not. They've chosen not to come up. But, you know, we'll find anybody. We'll find somebody regardless. Let's bring up Misty, Misty Randy. I think I saw him asking. Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio if you want to support the live. Um, also, it's at the very bottom of the link tree. Also, drop a follow if you haven't already. Uh, double tap the screen. Let's try to get to 700,000 likes. All right, Misty Randy, what do we got? <laughs> are you leaving or are you, uh, you got to come back to the app? You can't hear you if you're off TikTok Live. You got to come back to the app. So this guy was just in here, like, what, spamming for a fat minute just to, uh, spamming for a fat minute. This guy has been in here spamming for a while. We'll bring somebody else up in the meantime. Ryder, you have to come back to the app, bud. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, why you MAGA? What's up? Um, so basically, uh, I live in Springfield. And there's been a lot of rumors going around. Your and, bio uh, says NJ, buddy. What's up? Your bio says NJ. Yeah, I just moved to Springfield. To, for you just moved to Spring. Really, you just moved to Springfield, Ohio? Yeah. Just coincidentally, from New Jersey. Yeah. What, yeah. what, what college in Springfield you go to? I go to Ohio State. It's right there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. So, so my dog went missing the other day. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah hey, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy. Get yeah. the hell out of my life. It's not. It's not close. Uh, Nick, uh, unmute for me. All right, what's up, man? What's going on, Harry? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Outstanding. A few things I just want to say real quick is I'm at work, so don't ask me to look anything up. Um, two, I respect you as a man, but I just have a few questions, if you don't mind. So you're, are you not, you're not here to debate? I mean, we can have a discussion. I just had a few questions that I was confused sure. about of what you do, if that's all right. Yeah. One, why do you pick and choose what you post and you don't show the full uh, context of what people say? And why, how do you Wait, justify pause. that? Can you give me an example? Yeah, just I so saw I one of your videos true. today on my feed. It was uh, uh, when J.D. Vance was defending himself because he got fact-checked. Yeah. Was that or was that not one of the rules in the debate? No fact-checking by the moderators, correct? Wait, are, are, are you saying that it's bad to fact-check people? So I'm just going off of the rules of what the vice presidential debate was. But there just, was supposed just, to be I'm, asking, no I'm just asking you a simple question. Are you just, are you, are you, are you upset at the fact that J.D. Vance no, was not at all. No, not at so all. So then why like, do you bring he, this up? He held and also, wait, it's can you, can you elaborate what context, what, what, like you said, I cut out what was actually said. Like what context so, was cut out there? He mentioned uh, when he responded to the moderators that there was supposed to be zero fact checking. Because that was the, the video. No, actually you didn't. You I, cut it I, short. I, I did. I mean, if anybody wants to go look at your page, you I cut encourage it short, them to go look at the video gone. because it's there. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have came up if I if it uh, didn't say what it said, right? But yeah, it's just a question: that's why do you how video. do you justify how do you justify picking and choosing what you put up? Well, you're asking me a question that's not applicable, so I don't know how to answer your question that's not applicable, especially when you don't okay, know let me what try you're to actually. Rework. So wait, the wait, information that wait, wait, you let's, see. Wait, let's, let's let's listen to the video that I put up today, and you can tell me what's. Okay, what's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because maybe I misheard it. I mean, yeah, please. Thank you, Governor. And just to clarify for our viewers, Springfield, Ohio does have a large number of Haitian migrants who have legal status.
temporary protected status. Well, Mar Mar Nora, but, but thank you. Senator, Senator, we have no, no, so much to get to. Mar Margaret, I, I think it's important the, because... We're going to turn out of the, the debate, economy, thank Margaret, you. Margaret, the, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check. Pretty sure he just said the rules. Are you right? Are you, but you 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 only posted a small nit bit of it, and I checked your comments. Everyone was like, "Post the whole clip, 20, post the whole thing." Right? What, what? Yeah. What did I miss? So you didn't let him give his explanation of why he was defending himself from being fact checked. He, like, really? Because he just he just about. said it right there. He said the rules said X, Y, and Z. Yeah, that's, and a, just, that's a little snippet. Is that I not mean, a defense of his in, position? I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying you miss out a lot so of So it's a defense of, of his position, and that, that, was the, that was his defense of his position, which is, oh, it wasn't in the rules. Whereas you're up here saying that, yeah, I'm okay with J.D. Vance lying. I'm more, you're more upset that he was fact-checked. I never said I was upset. I actually told you I wasn't upset. So, I was just, so just to be clear here, you're, you're okay, you're happy that he got fact-checked. If people can answer questions by being fact-checked, more power to you, right? I don't really care. So but I'm, I'm asking a simple question. You're, you're happy that he got fact-checked. I don't. I don't care if he gets fact checked or not. I really don't. So you would, you don't care at all. You don't. You don't care if, if people are held accountable for what they say. People. Well, I never said that. That's presupposing what I'm saying. All I'm but, saying is, I could care less if people get fact checked or if they don't get fact checked. That's up to whoever wants to fact check people. Really, you don't care at all. You so like you know you you'd be you'd be okay with J D Vance getting up there and lying and having nobody there Was fact he lying? checking what he's saying. Was he lying? That's, yes. That's an, Yes. Okay, can I hear some of the lies? Yeah, so for example, in that fact check, he was saying that the people in, in, in Springfield, Ohio, the Haitian migrants, are undocumented, that they're not, that they're not here legally. That's not true. That's, okay. that's simply incorrect. Okay. And he also Sorry. said that Donald Trump participated in a peaceful transfer of power. That is not true. He said that what, we're making our solar panels in China. That. that is simply not true. Okay. So, yeah, he lied a lot. And so when I'm, you know... Amplifying the fact that he was upset that he got fact checked, I think that the fact that you take a, bit, a problem with the the length of the clip um, more so than the fact that he's lying is concerning to me. And you, as a person who's voting for Donald Trump and JD Vance, I'm I assume, not registered to vote. My vote doesn't matter. So you're not you're not voting for any of these people. I'm not registered to vote because my vote doesn't matter. Let's That's just not be what real. I ask. Are you voting? So are you voting or not? I'm not registered to vote, Harry. I, I hear that you're not registered to vote, but are you going to what register to vote I'm and not, vote? No, I'm not. I'm not. You're not going to register to vote. No, my vote doesn't matter. Okay, so but you support Donald Trump and J.D. Vance generally without voting. I, I, here's what I'll say. When I watched the vice presidential debate, I had respect for Tim and J.D. I would not mind either of them actually running for president, right? Really? I would not you, be mad at that. You, you wouldn't mind J.D. Vance being, being VP? V, I, I, I don't, I don't in, I'm not in the whole world of politics and stuff to say where my piece goes. I'm just saying it was very respectful. It's what a debate should have been. And I think you can agree with me there. It was very well said, very thorough on what they were talking about. They showed respect and all that. Yeah, I didn't appreciate J.D. Vance lying at every opportunity he got, lying about so Tim Walls, lying about his family, lying about laws in Minnesota. Fact, not a fan so of wait a second, Harry, do we look at the negative only and not the positive outcomes? I, I don't I don't see anything positive from what J.D. Vance was saying. I, I don't think that there's positive from lying in front of tens of millions of Americans. I'm not sure what positive outcome you're citing as a result of that. But now there are more people who are misinformed as a result of J.D. Vance. OK, but OK, like yourself. Okay, that's, that's your belief. That's fine. That's fine. Right. OK, fine. I'm just asking, was it how a debate should have been and was it proper and was it well? No, that is, and, that's not how a debate should have been. Uh, Tim Respect. Walls. Tim Walls was a good representative, a representative of like a good debater up there, somebody that is good faith in participating in a debate. Lying through a debate is not how it should a debate should go. I don't. I don't think that good debaters, people who are actually interested in debate, lie knowingly, and that's what JD Vance did last night. So no. Okay, fair enough. I respect what you believe, man. I just wanted some clarification on a few things that I noticed. So I appreciate you bringing me up, though, man. You have a All wonderful right, Nick, night. You have a good one. Appreciate one. You as well, bro. I don't think people should lie. What, a, what a, is hot take, everybody? Hot take of the day. Um, uh, Kyle, thank you for the three dollars. Saying I don't know how you deal with these incompetent people must be draining, but grateful for what you do. Hey, democracy, uh, democracy is on the line here, ladies, gents, boys, and girls. We um, got to fight for it. Miss Red, White, and Blue. I gotta like invite this person. We'll see if they debate. Sarah, thank you for the ten dollars. Saying my husband wants to know if you are a boxer or martial arts with martial artist with those knuckles. Either way, he's a Marine Democrat. I got him watching and loving what you do. Sarah, I appreciate the ten dollars. I do box, so. Um, I don't box all that often anymore because um, I, I mostly have like focused on like cardio or like biking and uh, weightlifting. But yeah, my knuckles are like permanently red from 
from like the years of boxing I did. So yes, good, good catch. Crystal, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate you. Uh, Patrick, thank you for the $1. Hey, would you really like to join? I'm personally an independent. Would like to go over why I should slash shouldn't vote for either candidate. Yeah, you're welcome to come out, man, for sure. Uh, Sherry, thank you for the $20 as well, saying campaign. I appreciate you, Sherry. Thank you for the $20. Avery, thank you for the $2, saying I've been cooking MAGA in debates lately because I've learned so much for you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing. Harry for president. I appreciate you, Avery. Keep, yeah, keep, uh, keep going at it. Keep debunking these guys. Look at this. I just got to know what this account's about. His username is Cooking Snowflakes. I just want to see what that's all about. Guarantee that this is like a, a troll or something. Troll or something. Hello, how old are you? Hey there, fella. I'm 36. Okay. Hello? Hello? What, what, yeah, what state are you voting in? Stay in um, I'm voting in Pennsylvania. Okay. Why do you look confused? You look perturbed. Yeah, I'm... You look I'm, a little flummoxed. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do this, actually. I'm, I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to pass on that. I'm just going to protect my peace and pass on that. Venmo Cash App in the link in the bio if you want to support the live. I appreciate you. I'm going to pass on that. It's going to... Just gonna not do that. Uh, OMG Jody, is this a, oh God, she's actually a Trump supporter, man. I invited you, Jody, if you wanna come up. Uh, if you're MAGA, let me know in the chat, I'll bring you up and we can talk. Memo Cash App, uh, in the link in the bio, if you wanna support the live. And make sure to drop a follow if you haven't already. Wish me happy birthday, happy birthday, Yasina. Happy birthday, oh my God, happy birthday. Um, Jacob, let's bring up, or Jacob, I invited you. Games World, sure, let's bring him up. Yeah, there's no way that guy was like a genuine person. I, I, ha, it's like AI, dude, or something. Uh, hello? Hey. How old are you? 34. Also. Can you mute the TV in the background by any chance? Yeah. Thank you. Dude, I'm just fucking with you. This is Amy, I just sent you some money. I just Oh, wanted... oh my God, Amy, oh, I appreciate you, golly. <laughs> I was like, God. <laughs> I was like, shit. Uh, I appreciate you, Amy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I, I just, I love your live, and I watch you every time I can, and awesome. uh, keep up the good work, dude. You're Thank doing you, Amy. well. And hey, Amy, you're doing good work as well. I appreciate you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Amy. Have a good night. Oh, I, oh, anyway, I appreciate you, Amy. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate you a lot, uh, Lynn. Brittany, I just invited you if you want to uh, come up and debate. Um, whoever said that was Joker from the Batman? Yeah, seriously. Nolan says he's MAGA and wants to come up. Give him a shot. Hello? Yo, what up? <laughs> How old are you, man? <laughs> hey, I'm 20, but I just want to let you know I, I like your lives and shit. But, Thanks, yeah, and I, and, I, and I hate Donald Trump, too. Oh, good. But yeah, I, good I, shit. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. can't, yeah, but I just say, we got to win this fucking election. If we yes, don't. Yes, sir, Nolan, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. All right, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming I just up. Thanks, say, man. Yeah, keep getting that word out, though. Thanks, man. You too, bro. You too, all yeah, right? Keep, get, keep getting that word out. November Thanks, 5th, big day. Big day, man. All right, have a good yep. one, man. I appreciate you. Yep. yep, appreciate you too. Oh, man. Kit Kat, come on up. Oh, wait, what? The box is full. One sec. I'm inviting Kit Kat. Kit Kat, I invited you if you want to come up. Uh, Ken. God, the box is full, man. Uh, Ken, I invited you. I keep inviting people. Nobody, uh, nobody wants to come up here. They, they, why are they running? Why are they running? Savannah Jones. I invited Savannah. Uh, MAGA right here. <laughs> okay. All right. Look at it. FJB. That's his account. Golly. Golfing, golfing boss. I'm inviting. I'm gonna invite all these people. There we go. Here comes one. Here comes one. They finally came up. They finally, they finally come up. Oh. Melissa DeBoer. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? No, your your audio is terrible. Hello. It's a little bit better. Okay. So, oh, Go ahead. why did three people just join? I don't know. What are we going to do with like a three on a three on? Go ahead. Why? Why are you voting for Donald Trump? So, so the reason I'm voting for Trump, this is my first election. I'm voting for Trump m mainly because I believe abortion is murder. And I believe that, um, 
that the border is completely out of control. Where, so which one do you want to start with? Uh, you can choose. Uh, you, you, you choose. You're the, you're the guest. You get to choose. Uh, let's go with let's go with the border. Okay. All right. Um, so you think the border is a national security issue? Yes. Yeah. You think it's a, a problem that we have to address immediately? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so why did Donald Trump block the immigration bill that was worked on by Democrats and Republicans? Block the immigration bill. Yeah, so it probably had when, some other bullshit in it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll address that in a second. Was not a good so idea. In, in 2023, Democrats and Republicans um, got together in Congress and the Senate, and they and they wrote an immigration bill together. And it was written yeah. by some Democratic senators like Chris Murphy from Connecticut, uh, Kirsten Sinema from Arizona, and also conservative senators like James Langford from Oklahoma, who's somebody that was endorsed by Donald Trump. And this bill would have done a lot of things, such as giving more money to Border Patrol, yeah, giving the president the ability. Can you, can, you stop, can you stop talking? Can you stop talking? Uh, giving more money to Border Patrol, giving the president the ability to shut down the border, expanding immigration courts, things like that, right? Really good bill. Uh, Donald Trump killed that bill. Uh, he said, please blame me if it fails, and it failed. I've honestly never heard that before. Yeah, yeah look up the I don't know bipartisan. why. Yeah, it was something that Donald Trump doesn't like talking about. If you look up the bipartisan border okay. bill, you can, um, you can see uh, this bill that is in question. So I'm confused. Why, why haven't the Democrats done anything about it? Like, there's ten to 15,000 coming over the border every single day. Why haven't they done anything about it? And are they working on it? So those numbers actually aren't accurate um, right now. The amount of border crossings. I believe crossings they are. are. I saw a federal a federal government no. data database. I believe they are accurate. No, the the amount of border crossings we have right now are similar to the levels that they were in 2019 and 2020 under Donald Trump. Um, and they've actually plummeted in recent months, specifically in 2024. And this is uh, due to a an executive order and some other actions that's been taken by President Biden that has restricted asylum seekings and the ability to seek asylum per day. Um, this is something that was actually included in the immigration bill that Donald Trump killed, but it couldn't get through Congress. So Biden had to do it with an executive order. And you're asking why haven't Democrats done anything about it? Well, we tried with that bill. Uh, Biden also introduced an immigration bill on day one of his presidency that was rejected by Republicans. So we're trying right now. Why, by which saying, Republicans? Uh, just the, the majority of, of Republicans in Congress and in the Senate. So, um, you know, that, that includes like Mitch McConnell, for example, who's the minority leader. He kind of like rounds up the people and have them vote against it. So I get I get what you're saying, but it's still I'm still confused because every single day I live in Colorado. It's a very blue state. Yeah. Um, I see there the, there's these window washing guys. They're from Mexico and they you, you stopped at a red light and they, they come up to your car and they want to wash your windows. And if you let them do it, they beg for money. And I see that literally every day I drive in Colorado. So it's confusing me. And I've only seen this uh, with Biden in office. So is there a way you can explain to me why that is? Why there's more people? In, well, I don't, I don't really understand the question. Are you asking me why there's people in Colorado who are offering to clean your windows? No, there's Mexican people, they're immigrants. Yeah, you're, you're asking me why that's the case? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I don't. I can't speak specifically to those people that you're encountering, but in terms of why there's been uh, more people coming to the border in recent years, that was due to the COVID-19 pandemic, um, kind of destroying uh, kind of South American countries and their economies. The United States, we're lucky; we have a really strong economy, so we were able to bounce back, and we have uh, more access to jobs and things like that. Whereas these other countries, they haven't bounced back in the same way we did, and they weren't bouncing back in the same way, especially in the tw kind of 2021, 2022 er um, era. And so they were seeking new economic opportunity, forcing them to come up to the United States. But there's also like independent um, reasons for different countries like Venezuela, for example, has had uh, a lot of political conflict and persecution in recent years, also forcing a lot of Venezuelans from that country in particular to come up. Okay. It's still, it's still a confusing issue on me because like, you know, like a lot of different data, it, it can be false. Yeah. So. But I do want to ask you something else. What do you think about like Christians in America? Do you think that's a bad thing? No. You don't? No. Joe, Joe Biden himself is religious. He goes to church every Sunday. Okay. Okay, good. I just wanted to ask that. Um, but let's move on to the abortion thing. I do think abortion is murder. Um, the reason I think that is because I don't want to take life for granted. I don't want to say like, 
like abortion is okay because what if I was aborted? What if you were aborted? And if you don't want to abort someone, then why don't you give someone else that gift of life? Like, cause life is such a gift. It's a gift from God. Cause somebody doesn't want to go through nine months of pregnancy or maybe they were assaulted and had that. But, uh, well, hold on, hold result. on. It's maybe it was an, uh, a result of an assault, but if it was a mistake, like, like having sex is a privilege, but what if it was a mistake that, I mean, like, you're not so, supposed to just have sex like that. You know what I mean? Says who? Like, it's just like, it's like, it's moral value. You can't just go around having sex like that. Really? Do you understand I think that? If like, uh, I think if like two people are in a consensual relationship, if they want to have intercourse, that's not a problem with me. But the baby is a result, right? It, it's a possible uh, consequence of reproduct or of, of consequence. Of so you think it's but a consequence? It yeah. It's, it's, it's do a natural, consequences it's a, it's have a consequence? Yeah. Do consequences have, uh, I don't know how to say it. Do consequences have results? Cause it kind of doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right. If you, if you have sex and the baby is a consequence, then having an abortion is basically like, it's basically like saying no to the consequence. Like you're, you're just erasing it completely. Right. Well, so we, we, we do that. I mean, often. So when you get in a car, it well, could be a possible consequence. Can you shut the fuck up? Can you hey, shut hey, up? Let him talk. Can let you him shut talk. up? Can you let him shut talk. the fuck up? Your damn not, I'm sorry. Up? It's not your live. You don't get to say that. I'm sorry. Um, so so we get, talk, you get in a car every single day and you drive and there's a possible, a possible consequence of you driving around in your car is that you get hit, hit head on by an 18 wheeler and you die or you just get badly injured. That's a possible consequence, but it doesn't mean that you can sense of, to that consequence. Of you driving bad or someone yeah. else driving no, bad? No, just, just you getting in a car generally. You un, you understand yeah. that that's a risk that when you get into a car, that you could die as a result of being in it. Yeah, so exactly, but you're it doesn't mean that my you point. consent to that. But wait, it, no, you're making my point. It doesn't mean that you consent to that just because you engage in that conduct. Just because you get in a car doesn't mean you consent to uh, have to, to a car coming and hitting you. Just like if you have intercourse, it doesn't mean you consent to having a child. Um, you, and also, you know, we try to minimize consequences that aren't preferable. So with anything, with you getting into a car, we have tried to minimize the possibility that you die in a car crash. We have guardrails now. We have seat belts. We have different safety measures on the road to minimize that negative and unintended consequence. Just like when it comes to intercourse, we, through the amazing uh, science we have now, have tried to minimize the uh, incidence of accidents, of unwanted pregnancy, and things like that. Okay. Can you, can you let the other guy talk? I want to hear what he has to say. Oh, sure. I'm sure this is going to be dandy. He just seen this guy seems like such just a let treat. him talk. Bro. Right. I, I invited himself to unmute. If he can figure it out, it took him 20 minutes last time. So oh. see if he figures it out. It's, on, buddy. It, it, it's tough, tough for a lot of these folks. FJB, come on, figure it out, buddy. You just, just say, FJB, just click your little, pro I think he's probably still screaming. Uh, click your little profile picture right here and click the unmute yeah. at the top top of your, your thing. If you're not still screaming, if you can hear us, you're not still screaming at your phone. There he goes. Oh, I'm not still screaming. I yeah. just want you to fucking know that you're wrong. Okay, what am I wrong about? Every goddamn thing you think about. That's really, really specific. That was a good point. Good for you. Okay, come on. Give me, give me some here. What am I wrong about? Okay, you say the Haitians ain't coming over here fucking with America, but they are. I didn't. Well, um, I, I specifically uh, said that. Well, uh, well uh, d d d d yeah, they are. Very, they very are. Uh, I, I specifically said that those Haitian immigrants in Springfield. No, but they really are really fucking with America and tell me they ain't. Okay, how so? Okay, lie to me again. Lie to how, me again. I, how, how so? Lie to me again. I'm asking you, how so? How are they, how are they quote unquote fucking with America? No, tell me they ain't. Okay, they're not. How are they? How are they? Oh, you lied to me again. God how are, damn. How are they? Dude. How are they? God damn, you just lied to how me. How are they? Man. How are they? Tell me. You fucking. Well, I, I, my you my position is that Harry, my position is Harry? not that they are. My position no, is that Harry, they're not. No, so can you, you tell me how they new, are? Can you no, tell me how they are? New, you you watch that fucking. Please please, uh, please try Soros. to answer the please try to answer the question. 
You watch all question. that shit. How are, everybody how are who's Haitian paying migrants you, effing up America? Everybody who's paying you. So wait, I'm just I'm just curious. You came up here and you keep screaming your face off, but you can't even answer a question. Is this is this the position you're taking right here that you can't even answer? You're just like so bigoted that you have to target a certain group of people and say that they're hurting America, but you can't even articulate why you think that. I mean, my God, um, like look, pick up a book, a question. pick up, ask pick up question. something that's not ask a Trump campaign ask pamphlet. Ask I, I asked you, how are they, uh, quote unquote, fucking up America? How is how are they doing that? Oh, I don't know. Open borders. Wait, actually, wait, bam, wait, 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 bam, wait, 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 wait. Open that, that, border. Yeah, OK, that does not answer the question. You said that a specific group of people are hurting America. That's fucking up America, how? dumb shit. You can't even you can't even answer the question. Listen to me very carefully. I, just this, I understand that. I understand that listening. I understand that listening real. comprehension talk, can be difficult for you. Each other. Let's I under talk each other. Let's over talk. This guy is legitimately five years old. He's legitimately five yeah. years old. This this man needs to grow up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of I kind of have to agree with you on that. You can but, see a bipartisan agreement. Look at that. I, I'm going to I'm going to ask you this again, FJB, which, again, is also a super mature name. You're very a model representative for the next generation. Um, you said that Haitian migrants specifically, you specifically went after this group are hurting America. I'm asking, how is that specific group that you went after hurting America? OK, I'm going to I'm going to give you the opportunity. I'm going to send you a request to unmute. OK, and if you don't figure it out in 30 seconds, then you're gone. I know this is a. Oh, there you go. Okay. So how are they messing up America? Hang, hey, I just said it. Haitian hey, migrant gangs. Are you are you sober? Say it again. Haitian hey, migrant gangs. Gangs. Okay. So what what uh mm -hmm. what are you referencing here? Uh like what the fuck's coming across the border, you dumb shit? So you're just not gonna answer the questions at all. You're just gonna say like these very vague statements of gangs and then we're asking like what specific gangs you're referencing like what crime are you referencing and you can't oh uh, Haitian uh, uh, are you not listening you so, stupid okay. fuck. let me let me let me put it this way do you have any evidence to suggest that these Haitian migrants in Springfield Ohio are in gangs damn who said Springfield Ohio that would have been you me yeah so oh so, my god are yeah so the statement that you originally took issue with are they eating dogs up there damn you brought you are brought you done? Springfield you brought yeah. Springfield. That yeah, was not so, me. So when that the original you. statement, the you. original the original statement I referenced, I mentioned Springfield, Ohio. I said that you asked me about the Haitian immigrants. I'm like, yeah, the Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, which was a statement I originally yeah, made that you took issue you, with, are here legally. And then that is the, the question that you asked you me. So we are focusing me. specifically no. we're focusing specifically on Springfield, Ohio right now. I'm happy to broaden yeah, the conversation okay, to the yeah, entire country, but right now we're focusing down, on man. Springfield, Ohio. Good. We're right, just, yeah, just be, yeah, right now we're focusing yeah. on Springfield, Ohio. I'm happy to broaden the conversation to the entire country, but right now we're focusing on the community that I specifically you know referenced you know and then you asked. You think about. everybody is focusing on the entire fucking country at this point? You I, were I, I honestly, I can't tell. I, I don't think you're sober. Everybody is focusing on their own goddamn bills. Do you got Where like, are you at? A Samsung phone in the background, bro. I mean, it's like, what are you doing? What's going on here? Oh, phone? yeah, no, I'm a Samsung advocate. You can fuck off with your iPhone. But I, uh, you're, you're very I'm sure you're you're a very like nice man. You're certainly not like angry and have super dude, deep anger issues like that you haven't worked out at therapy. Out with you just to get close enough to say, hey, <laughs> oh, wake up. But dude. So just to be clear here, you haven't man? you haven't cited anything that backs up your argument, right? Just to be clear. I don't know what the fuck your goddamn argument is. I, I, You're you you asked me specifically, you, I asked you very specifically, like, how are Haitian immigrants hurting the America? And then you said Haitian immigrant gangs. Then I said, what gangs, what crime specifically? And then you started, you started laughing. I don't, I don't know. I'm still waiting for oh, some information. From yeah. You. Well, it's, you know, if you fucking look at the news, I'm not the one that George I'm not, Soros. I, I'm not asking you. you just, you just hey, keep shut saying, up, shut up. No, listen, no, you listen, just keep saying like, no, look no, at the you news. Ask me a fucking question yeah. You I'm keep saying, look at the news. I, I'm asking you for a specific listen, source listen, of information. This is how, this is how it happens. This is how it happens. You yeah, can't, yeah, you can't yeah. fucking, All right, you ahead. ask me a question. I'm trying go to give you an answer and you want to fucking block it. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Yeah. George Soros owns most of the fucking guy. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Get the oh. hell out of my live and don't come back. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> he starts it. I said, 
where, where I asked him for okay. a specific piece of information. He goes, George Soros. Okay, it's a, it's the typical Trump Republican man. Every time they every every, every answer to a question is, well, George he, Soros. I think he was on to something, but I don't know why you removed him. But yeah, like oh, yeah. for once, I feel like he was on to something. I feel really? like he was about to make a point. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but anyways, I do have to agree with him on the fact that if there's so many like Haitian immigrants or whatever, what are they doing coming into America? How are they helping? Um, they're coming in legally and they work jobs and help the economy. Like, so uh, for example, in Springfield specifically, the governor of Ohio, who again is a Republican endorsement. Oh, someone Trump, just called me a racist. Okay. Uh, so the governor so of Ohio, stupid. who is a Republican endorsed by Donald Trump, has talked about how a lot of these people are working like Amazon factories and uh, car shops and things like that. They're really helping the Springfield, Ohio economy. And this is a pretty consistent trend around the country where immigrants help uh, local economies. They help the national economy. Okay. Well, if these immigrants keep like coming into America, then what happens if they start overflowing? Are we going to have a shortage of jobs? What do you think is going to happen? Well, uh, so to be clear here, um, there's not an overflow right now in terms of like, oh, there are no more jobs. There's no, I more think there like is an have, overflow. We have, well, in, in the way that you described it, you said, like especially, an overflow especially no with the jobs, example so. I gave from, from where I live okay. yeah. with these so, people um, that are working on the streets without a job, washing cars and then begging for money. That's so a perfect uh, what example. I was saying is you described an overflow as like uh, to the point of having no jobs for anybody. We are certainly not at that point. There are available jobs. The unemployment rate in the United States is incredibly low, right? Right. It's but these people, points. these illegal wait, wait, immigrants I'm not, I'm not can't get yet. jobs. I'm not done They yet. can't get jobs because they're illegal. Um, so yeah, first of all, the, mo the majority of people coming into the country right now are legal. They're seeking asylum, which means that they're here legally in the country. Um, so if these folks can get jobs after a certain, uh, a certain amount of time. There are certain restrictions that they can't get jobs immediately, but a lot of these folks can. Now, in terms of undocumented migrants, uh, they can get jobs in some cases, and they are paid under the table in some cases, which is against the law, but sometimes overlooked by the government and, and local governments and things like that for obvious reasons. Um, but in terms of the way you're describing it, we're not at that point yet. But also, if your problem is with immigration, you're like angry about this, then I would encourage you to vote for Kamala Harris, who has been trying to reform immigration and the immigration system for four years, and Republicans keep blocking her. Specifically, Donald four Trump years. keeps blocking the Republicans. Yes, yes. And why hasn't, why hasn't anything happened? I need you to- For four years. Like, I need you to understand how our government works, right? So in order to get something done comprehensive on immigration, you have to go through Congress. For four years, Republicans have been blocking immigration reform through Congress. Specifically, this immigration bill, the bipartisan one that I described to you earlier that you didn't know about, that bill was blocked by Republicans in the House of Representatives. They said, Speaker Mike Johnson and uh, Steve Scalise, who's third in line in the House, the whip, right? He said within five minutes of the immigration bill being released, it's over 300 pages, within five minutes of the bill being released, he said, I'm not voting for it. It won't even come to a vote in the House of Representatives. And why, and why is Trump reasons. so against illegal immigration? Because he lies to you. That's all he does. He gets up there he and- lies, but, yeah. but literally in his, in his first time in office, he was building that wall. It seems like he really does care about it and really does think, think uh, that it's a yeah. problem. Well, he only built 50 miles mm -hmm. of new wall. So he didn't really build the wall. Fit five zero not miles. Fifty. Five zero. Not five hundred. Not I think 1, that's false. I think that's completely Please false. Up. Please look it up. I've actually been to the border. I, I'm sure you've been. I'm sure that's great. We had a wall there prior. There was already a wall. He in terms yeah, of the new wall, much. he only built fifty miles. He reinforced around four hundred that were already there. But in terms of new wall, he built fifty. Five zero new miles of wall. So I just really don't do think anything. that's true at all. Do you want me to pull up an article for you? Uh, tell me what source it's from and we'll sure. see if I believe it. What? Oh my God. Um, you can't just pick and choose sources, man. Yeah, you can. That's literally the point of getting news. Um, not quite. You can't just say, oh, this source is in terms of uh, they saying this source is there's, not true because Harry, I don't there's, like it. There's serious, credible but, and not so credible go. sources. Yeah, in terms of I'm obviously I'm obviously not pulling up like uh, news.com one two three. This is from reliable sources. This is from Politifact, right? Donald Trump said the Trump administration built nearly never heard of it. Miles. 
Of course you haven't. <laughs> um, PolitiFact is a fact-checking news agency. They fact-check both Democrats and Republicans. It's not it's not partisan. Uh, the claim by Donald Trump is that they built 500 miles of new uh, of border wall. It's rated as half true on PolitiFact for this reason. Quote, Trump's administration built 52 miles of new primary border barriers, the first impediment people encounter if they're trying to cross the southern border with Mexico. 52 miles. The administration built 458 total miles of primary and secondary border barriers. The majority were replacements of smaller, dilapidated barriers. So they reinforced the majority of the wall they built. But in terms of new new wall and new miles, 52. 52. Yeah. So I don't think you can claim that guy um, It really cares about immigration. And also, I don't think you can, care, you can claim he cares about immigration if he's stopping an immigration bill that, once again, was written by Democrats and republicans right yeah so okay it still just doesn't make that much sense to me that there's only 50 miles of wall but no, no, no. there's there's not 50 miles of wall there's hundreds of miles of wall at the border but that's not but because like of reinforced Trump. wall yes exactly in terms of new wall he only built 50 new miles so this guy that gets up there and tells oh i built the wall and all this stuff no he's a liar he's a total liar Okay. I'm really not coming to any sort of consensus here. I just don't understand this at all. What, 50 what miles. It doesn't seem like much of anything. Exactly. Which doesn't make much sense because he had four years in office. Yes. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It, it, exactly. It, that's, you're, you're getting there. You're so close. Yes, exactly. Okay. Four years didn't do anything in four years. Right. See, it's very the the, the facts are very I, I, different. What I'm than saying, what, says. what I'm saying is, I don't I don't think that it's only 50 miles, but whatever. We obviously disagree with that, and I don't think there's a way that we can we can come to any sort of consensus on that. It's not we can come we can come to a consensus. Sorry, I apologize. We're gonna, oh, bless we, you. We no, it's okay. We we can come to a consensus because we have different fact checks and um, actual data on this. Like for example, the, the PolitiFact article that I just cited for you cites C-SPAN, the US Government Accountability Office, the US Government Accountability Office, again, the Cato Institute, US Customs and Border Protection, the Trump campaign themselves. Like this is, these are, these are all, you know, these are uh, very well-sourced articles. This is uh, not liberal media making it up. These are the facts. And if you don't wanna look at PolitiFact, you can look at other articles from other outlets who have done the exact same thing. Okay. Well, I still, I still disagree with you because in Trump's first State of the Union address on January 30th, I think he outlined his administration's pillars for immigration reform, which was like a path to citizenship for dreamers, increased border security funding, and ended, ending the, I don't know what you call it, it's a, it's a visa lottery which yeah, so, I think that it's, it makes him seem like he's very passionate about this and he's going to fix it. And this was his first State of the Union address, right? So, uh, so this was during his presidency during 2018, right? Yeah, it, it, exactly. So he gets up there and says things like that sound good that make you like, oh, yeah, like maybe this is good. It's not. It's not. And he doesn't fulfill any of his promises. I always say beware of false prophet when talking about Donald Trump. He is the false prophet. He tells you, gets up on a debate stage or a stage just generally at his rallies and says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. These people are bad because Joe Biden opened the border and things like that. All of it's not true. He just says he is the solution to all of your problems to win your vote. But in reality, anybody that's like knowledgeable on how the government works knows that that's not the case, knows that Donald Trump obviously is not the solution to all of our problems. And he showed it the first four years. That's why he was voted out. Uh, no, I don't think I don't think so. And he wasn't voted out. He served his term. He was just he, voted against in the in the in the next election. Yeah, he was but voted out. He was in office I, and voted out. I think his presidency was so much better than than Joe Biden's was just be just solely why? because of the economy. Really? So what did Donald Trump do for the economy? He kept it stable. How so? I mean, you look at gas prices today. They're three dollars, not three dollars, but like two dollars higher than what they used to be. How, how did Donald insanity. Trump? Keep the, wait, wait. How did Donald Trump keep the economy stable? I don't. Why do I have to explain how? Because you literally this, is, this did. is exactly the point. Donald Trump didn't do anything to help the economy. The economy is largely out of the control of the president of the United States. The Federal Reserve has more control of the economy, and the Federal Reserve and the presidency are independent of each other. They don't like 
neither one tells the other what to do, right? So Trump inherited an amazing economy from Obama that had the longest stretch of positive job growth and then took credit for it. And then the economy crashed under Donald Trump due to COVID. And then he tries to blame Joe Biden for that being the case. And then you're asking why are gas prices high? Why is this high? Because of COVID, because of this massive economic collapse that took place in the United States and around the world. So this is the Donald, this is Donald Trump's great lie. He takes credit for an economy that he didn't accomplish and then blames economy that uh, is not the fault of Joe Biden uh, on him to try to get you to believe that he's some economic whiz that just somehow is so good at, at, at maintaining the economy. It's not true. He didn't do anything for the economy. So can you explain to me how COVID affected the economy so much? Yeah, I mean, it, it shut down small businesses. It shut down schools. It uh, had a lot of people lose their jobs. It stopped now, schools have anything to do with it. Oh, well, kids were in school and teachers work at schools. Okay. Um, and teachers. things like that. And and it also sh it also uh, hurt our supply chains, shipping goods around the world. Uh, a lot of our ports were backed up with uh, with goods. It was incredibly difficult to actually get things into the country because not only were the ports backed up, but uh, nobody was shipping anything. So even when something was shipped, it's hard to get it into the country. And that was the case all around the world. And all around the world had the same kind of uh, output or uh, result as we did. High unemployment, um, low expendable income for people and things like that. Okay. I can see it kind of making me a little bit of sense, but I don't understand why it would affect the economy so much like that, because I actually, it's something I did on my own. It's a little research. I had a Walmart order from four years ago, four or five years ago. It was my parents. Um, and it was like, I think it was around $80. And then I looked up the exact same order, the exact same items. And it was like almost $400. It's okay. insanity. All right, that's not. I'm, I'm sorry. not even I, kidding. I'm calling. I'm calling shit on that. Your your order uh, your no. order did not go from eighty dollars to four hundred dollars. Almost four hundred. No, I'm sorry. That's not consistent with any data in the in the United States. Any data? Yeah. It's it's literally, it's literally my own data from my You're own getting, Walmart like, order or something. Like my God, like you, your not, your okay. your average. What was in that order? What was in that order? I don't know. I'm not gonna go pull it up, but so. Let's just say like it was things like pasta, uh, steak, uh, milk, eggs, things like that. Like your typical grocery uh, order, whatever it might be. Uh, that's not something you get from Walmart, but okay. You don't you don't get anything any of that from Walmart. I don't get steak and milk from Walmart. I maybe, get like I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe whatever yeah, typical grocery store. Fine. Um, but let's just say it was it was it was just something like that. None of those products have gone up a hundred percent or 200%, which would have, that would have to go up to reach $400. So I don't know what your Walmart order is. Maybe take out like the, I don't know, the, the, like, the, I just, I, there's no, there's no reality of which your order went from $80 to $400 going up like four times the amount. I don't know what to say, man. It, it did. Okay. Well, um, uh, maybe, maybe I got it wrong, but I know it was a significant amount and I, I just don't understand how how we can blame this on Trump because it was after his presidency. I'm not blaming it on Trump. Yes, you are. No, I'm you not. Said, you said Trump is a result of this economy due, no, to, didn't. due to his actions. Yes, you did. No, I, no, I didn't. I didn't. I, Dude, yes, you Nobody did. is responsible. No, I did. Where are you? What are you talking about? No, I did not. I, yeah, Trump is not. Yeah. No. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. And here's, well, let me explain it to you. The inflation that we're seeing right now the um well i shouldn't say right now i'd say previously the high prices the gas prices were not because of either president it was not because of joe biden and not because of ellen think of the galaxy not because of joe biden not because of donald trump the president doesn't control this stuff they don't no the president but no. but they can obviously do something to affect it correct in some cases they can but nothing was done by biden or trump in my view that led to high inflation and high gas prices. Neither of these people did anything in that capacity. Uh, the presidents, are you saying? Yes, I'm saying that when Trump was in office and when Biden was in office, neither of these people uh, did anything to raise gas prices or raise grocery prices. 
The president doesn't have I'm that I'm so ability. confused because you were literally just saying a couple of seconds – or not, not seconds ago, a couple of minutes ago about how this is Trump's fault. I did not – no. I did not say that the economy right now is Donald Trump's fault. I could have sworn you said that, but I whatever. A hundred percent did not. What do you think it is a result of though? COVID. So the, the, the negative, the negative uh, uh, economic data points that we had – you know, in like 2021 and 2022 were because of the pandemic. The pandemic shut down our economy. It shut down the economies of countries around the world. And if you're thinking about like, well, what about the high inflation? When we had our inflation spike in around the summer of 2022, other countries like France, Germany, uh, Japan, Spain, whatever, similar developed economies had inflation spike at the exact same time. That's not a coincidence. That's because it was a global phenomenon, a global uh, economic collapse. Thank you for the duck. I appreciate you which led to all of these different countries and their economies suffering, right? Mm. So it wasn't because of Joe Biden. It wasn't because of Donald Trump. Um, it was because of things out of their control. And that's what led to all these high prices and inflation and high gas prices and things like that. Then, so, so these high prices, why haven't, why haven't they gone down under the Biden presidency? Is he doing anything about it? Because I know, I know he can obviously do something like, to not fix it completely, but to help it. So um, there's nothing really that the president can do by themselves to lower prices. There's also like the president can't go to the grocery store and lower the price of eggs themselves, right? Um, these are private companies that do this stuff. No. And the president can talk to these private companies about lowering prices, but uh, the president themselves can't do it. Um, and there are some ways that the president has been able to... Um, lower some prices in certain areas. So for healthcare, for example, insulin has now been capped at $35 a month for seniors on Medicare. Inhalers have been capped at $35 starting in 2025 for out-of-pocket expenses for prescription drugs for seniors. Uh, they'll be capped at $2,000 a year. Previously, it could be tens of thousands of dollars for a year. Now Joe Biden has done things like that. So that in healthcare, for example, Biden has done a lot. But when it comes to groceries, he can't just be like, yeah, we're going to lower egg prices today. Yeah, obviously they can't do that, but they can implement certain policies, right? And they can also, like I'd say, delete certain policies in order to lower lower prices of of daily items. There's, but there's no there was no right? policy. There's no policy that was raising the price of these items, and there's nothing that that's, Biden. That's could not what I in. said. You said delete policy, so it, it, that's mm, indicating yeah. that there might. Be, yeah, so that's indicating that there might be policy that is causing a, a raise in gas prices or, or growth yeah, in general. Yeah, but not for that purpose. There, but there wasn't anything doing that in terms of policy, in terms of current law, right? And there's nothing that Biden could have done himself to lower these prices. Like maybe there's a law that Congress could have passed, but I, I can't even imagine a, con a, a bill that Congress passes that would lower the price of your groceries um, in, in one fell swoop. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. I think I got to head out. But right, thank man. you for having me on. Appreciate yeah, it. No problem. You have a good one, all right? So. Oh, my God. <sighs> um, geez, Louise. Oh. Um, uh, Alyssa, thank you for the $10. Thoughts on Dean debating Fuentes? Is that happening? Did that happen? Is that, is that a thing? JW, thank you for the another $10. Since I sent 200, can I come up and say something as a person of color? Absolutely, JW. You can come up, man, for sure. Did that happen? Is it happening right now or did it happen? He's debating that. Interesting. Uh, ben, thank you for the $25 saying, thanks, Harry. You're inspiring. You give me hope for the future of our party. Your patience is incredible. My mind would explode if I have to deal with the Trump. <laughs> if I have to deal with the Trump University alums, I'm an entertainment attorney in Los Angeles. Tried adding you on LinkedIn. Dude, that's awesome. I will accept your LinkedIn request. I, if I see lawyer, I'm like, come on. I, I'm happy about that. Um, that's remarkable, man. Thanks for the support. Thank you for the $25 as well. Abby, I'm trying to add Abby. Is she requesting up? Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, she is. Uh, ben, I appreciate the $25, man. Catherine, thank you for the $5. You seriously have the patience of a saint. I appreciate all that you do. It's 
crazy. Uh, Michelle, thank you for the fifty dollars. Saying FJB has to go, please and thank you. She's a she's a Democrat. She's saying the guy with the username FJB has to go. Just for some context, Michelle, I appreciate you so much. Throw some W's for Michelle in the chat. I appreciate that a lot. Fifty dollars is incredibly kind. You're amazing. I hope you know that. And thank you for all of your support. Please show some love for Michelle in the chat. Uh, Vanessa, thank you for the ten dollars. Saying to be <laughs> dealing with these MAGA morons. Thank you. Uh, you said it, not me. <laughs> Daisy, thank you for the one dollar. Said. Hi again. Sorry, still broke, but I'm gonna send one dollar per live. Daisy, please just you know, please save your money. Go you know, have um, go like to uh, to, out to dinner or something like that. Treat yourself, please. I mean, I just appreciate you being here. But thank you, Daisy. I appreciate that. Uh, all right, Abby, what what, what do you what do you got for me? Are you MAGA? Um, yes, I am. But I just wanted to start off by saying. Wait, how old are you? Twenty one. Okay. <laughs> is there like an age that you're looking for yeah you have to no it's not it's not me you have to be above the age of 18 to be on TikTok uh, live. okay yeah, yeah i'm 21 um i just wanted to say that i think you have exhibited a lot of patience with some of the people on here because i am Thank maga you. but not like that a lot i i feel i feel sorry for you because they were getting on my nerves <laughs> wow <laughs> Honestly, like even a, a Trump supporter saying that, like, tells oh you. Oh my god, I was like blowing up your comments, like, get that FGF JB <laughs> guy. Yeah. I was like, get that drunk off of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't really know like where you want to start. If you want to know like why I'm voting for Trump or or what, but well, yeah, I'm just curious. Like, so wait, what state are you voting in? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. And so why are you, yeah, I'm just curious, like, generally, like, why are you, why are you from? So, um, there's a lot of reasons, but, um, in terms of this specific election between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and what's going on with the De Democratic Party, and I don't know what your opinion is on this, but policy aside, the way that Joe Biden's mental decline was handled and lied to about and the way that Kamala Harris became um, the nominee was completely undemocratic and just kind of unheard of. Um, and I really haven't heard, a, and I watch, I watch like almost all of the DNC. I mean, I skipped around a little bit. I watch, you know, I listen to speeches and interviews given by the Democratic Party, even though I am, I am voting red. So, you know, I, I but I, have not seen a legitimate justification for the way that the removal of Joe Biden and just the random implementation implementation of Kamala Harris is justified. Well, I'll give you a reason. So first and foremost, I will start off by saying that Joe Biden is perfectly fine. And I recognize that you are conservative, which means you and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you typically watch more conservative news or maybe you're on social media and you see more conservative pages. And a lot of these pages and these news outlets will circulate videos of Joe Biden, selective videos to make you think that he's gone. He is no, he's, he's, he's totally gone. But in reality, that's not true. And what I'd recommend, you don't have to just take it from me. Just go watch a Biden speech. Just pull up like a random time in the Biden speech and listen to him talk. You you want to do it right now? I mean, I, I have plenty. Let's, let's I mean, right I now. watched. Right we can, but but I would just like to say, I mean, I watched the debate in June, and I know that of course conservative media is just as guilty at a lot of times as you know more liberal media about cutting things and putting things out of context. That's not my point. But I mean, we. I mean, you watched the debate. I'm sure I watched it from the beginning to end. And it was, I mean, it's undeniable. Now, do I think that it's true that he's literally doing nothing? No, but it's very obvious, one, that he's not okay. And if you say that he is totally fine, if that's the case, if Joe Biden is totally fine, then ha then even more so, how is it justified for the Democratic Party effectively to remove him even though Joe Biden said adamantly for months and months that he was perfectly fine and that he wanted to run, remove him and then replace him with Kamala Harris without even holding a single like primary or like way to hold like anybody to vote at all. So uh, a lot of things to address there. Um, the debate is not representative of who Joe Biden is um, and what his 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 ability is. He during that debate, he was sick and he had just traveled around the world going from different time zones, making meaning that he was incredibly jet lagged and tired. And I, I say this to people frequently. I can't imagine doing a presidential debate when you're sick and like have a fever. 
like i'm sure you've had that feeling before where you just have a fever and you're just incredibly sick you can't like you can't think about anything straight and i think that having like a, a really high intensity debate like that in front of tens of millions of people is really difficult when you're sick um so i don't think that that's representative of him and we'll and i'll show you why that's not representative of him in a second so I also want to add a couple things here. Um, Republicans have complimented his mental ability. Kevin McCarthy, former Speaker of the House, said that he's sharp and that he's a good debate, or a, a strong negotiator. Um, and of course, Democrats have said the same thing about Joe Biden. I have literally met Joe Biden. I've stood in front of him and interviewed him. He was great. And there's no selective editing I've done. Those videos are on my page. You can literally see them. One of them is pinned to my page. Um, and also, if he's really that incompetent and can't do anything, then how has he been so productive? How has he been so um, getting so many things done, things that Donald Trump tried to get done and failed? So if, Donald, okay. if Joe Biden's really just like okay, out of okay, it, then okay. I don't know. No, I'm not done yet. I'm okay. not done yet. Now we're going to look at we're going to watch a, a, a short clip from Biden's recent U.N. speech. And so, you know, that I'm not selectively picking a time in the speech. The video is 25 minutes long. So you pick a time frame between zero minutes and zero seconds and 25 minutes and zero seconds. And just give me a time frame. It can be like 13 minutes and 13 seconds or five minutes and 12 seconds. Okay. And we're just going to listen to a little bit of that speech. All right. Sure. sure. But before we do that, I, okay. I would like you to answer the question that if I say, OK, Joe Biden's totally fine. Yeah. Then that makes it even worse. That oh, I'm going to was... answer that after. I'm going to get okay. all, I'm going to get to the whole DNC thing after. Okay. All, All right. right. So you pick a time frame between 20, 20, zero seconds and 25 minutes. It can be any time you want. It's, you said it's 25 minutes long. Um, 25 minutes long. 20 minutes and 47 seconds. 20 minutes and 47 seconds. Okay. And 20 minutes. 2046 will have to do it. So just for everybody, you can see that the red line is all the way over. Now let's listen to Joe Biden. This is in front of the UN, by the way. He just gave the speech the other day. And here's ahead, there may, be, there may be, may well be no greater test of our leadership than how we deal with AI. Let me close with this. Even as we navigate so much change, one thing must not change. We must never forget who we're here to represent. We, the people. These are the first words of our Constitution, the very idea of America. They inspired the opening words of the UN Charter. I made the preservation of democracy a central cause of my presidency. This summer, I faced a decision whether to seek a second term as president. It was a difficult decision. Being president has been the honor of my life. There's so much more I want to get done. As much as I love the job, I love my country more. I decided after 50 years of public service, it's time for a new generation of leadership to take my nation forward. My fellow leaders, let us never forget, some things are more important than staying in power. It's your people. I'm, I'm so glad you picked that time because that was like the highlight of the speech. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. but That was a good, that was a good pick by you. I yeah, said, okay. you, do you have any, any problems with that? No, not that was not so bad. I don't, I still don't think he sounded great, but I don't think we're ever going to agree on that. But the difference between that and a lot of other things is that speech was scripted and they have teleprompters and they have it right in front of them. I'm glad you said the only, the only that Joe Biden recent, gave. hold on, the only recent um, interview where he was not, or, you know, public forum where he did not have a script in front of him or it was rehearsed or teleprompters was the debate and you say oh it's well, like he was sick. okay then i mean i'm, I'm uh, going to show you something so he he, gave, he recently gave a in the when the nato conference was at in washington dc he had this hour-long press conference hour long with no notes no teleprompter no nothing so let's do the same thing you pick it the, the whole part the press conference was 58 minutes or at least that's the wall street journal length of the video so pick a time between like i don't know like five minutes because he might have he might have like given a little introduction because he gave a speech before give it give a give a time between five minutes and 50 minutes and we'll listen to him and this is no no teleprompter this is him just speaking off the cuff um Let's see, 47 minutes and 47 seconds. 47 minutes. 40, you said 47, 47? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 47, 47. You got it. All right. Let me actually unplug this so we can hear it better. 
but I think it's important that I realize I lay fears by seeing, let them see me out there. Let me see them out, you know, for the longest time it was, you know, Biden's not prepared to sit with us unscripted. Biden's not prepared to, you know, anyway. And so what I'm doing is, and I've been doing, I think we've done over 20 major events from Wisconsin to North Carolina to anyway, to demonstrate that I'm going out in the areas where you think we can win, where we can persuade people to move our way, where people are already there. And then look, the other thing is, we have the most extensive campaign organization that anybody's had in a long, long time. We have well over a thousand volunteers knocking on doors, making phone calls, making tens of thousands of phone calls. We have headquarters, I forget exactly how many, I want to cite a number and then find out I'm off, but we have scores of headquarters in all, in all the, 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 the toss-up states. We're organized, we're moving, and I, that's awful hard to replace in the near term. And so, and here's the other thing. I was in the Senate a long time, very proud of what I've done in the Senate. I was chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee for a long time, and I was chairman of our ranking member and chairman of the Judiciary Committee. I'm going to be going down to the Johnson Library. On to, uh, anyway, I'm going to be going around making the case of the things that I think we have to finish and how we can't afford to lose what we've done or backslide on civil rights, civil liberties, women's rights. There's that little button we have. Control guns, not girls. I mean, the idea we're sitting around, that's where Kamala is so good as well. We're sitting around. More children are killed by a bullet than any other cause of death. The United States of America. What the hell are we doing? What are we doing? We've got a candidate saying, promise the NRA, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. You got a Supreme Court that is what you might call the most conservative court in American history. This is ridiculous. This is a really good answer. I could listen to this guy speak all day. It's a really good answer. Anyway, any problems with that? I mean, again, of course, that was a very short clip. I'm not. I, I've said at the beginning. I don't think that it is as bad as a lot of. Republican news outlets will make it seem or Republican TikTok pages or whatever it is. I understand that a lot of those things are looped and edited. I'm totally in agreement with all of that. But again, even in that even in that speech, it's very obvious that he's not crystal on point. You know, if you look at listen to me, if you look at videos of Joe Biden, even five years ago, even in the like 2019, 2020 campaigns for the for the presidency he has now, it is a totally different man. And that's, that's like undeniable. So uh, and, people age. So you might say like, oh yeah, you know, maybe he walks a little bit slower. Maybe, maybe talks a little bit slower. You know, maybe, maybe it's something like that, but that doesn't mean that he's in mental decline. Talking slower or walking slower or aging is not indicative of someone who's not able to do the job. And that's the entire point. You can't confuse age with mental decline. Those are two different things. And that's something that Republicans sure. often do. They say, oh, well, he slurred his word a little bit there. I couldn't care less if Joe Biden slurs his words every single time he speaks. I care about what he's doing for the country. And what Joe Biden's done for the country has been remarkable. Now, if we wanted to play that exact same game of like, oh, this is how Joe Biden speaks. This is how Donald Trump speaks. I mean, have you heard Trump speak recently? Have you heard Absolutely. him talk about yes, Hannibal Lecter? I watched him. Have you, have you heard him talk? Have you heard him talk about Hannibal Lecter? Uh, no, but I know that it was yeah, mentioned in the debate, but yeah, yeah. I, I, he watched, talks I just about watched a speech. All the time. I just watched he, a, a de I just watched a speech that he gave, um, today in Georgia where he, by the way, has spent, this is a whole other topic, but he has spent his own money to help, uh, people with, with that have suffered from hurricane Helene. Um, and Joe Biden, yes, has sent federal aid, but um, it's not even close to what he sent to other countries in the same time true. frame. It's, that so, is 100% true. Yeah, 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 he has but sent, I, I wanna, wait, wait, wanna, wait, wait. Let me say this. Let me say this. He has sent $9 billion to, um, to the 
general southeast for um for hurricane helene he sent 8.7 billion dollars to um israel like like since hurricane helene and he has i can send you the video right now i can't like show it on the live because i'm just on my cell phone but i mean he people are asking can you send more aid we need more aid and he's like no i've given everything that we have and in the it's same time so frame true. that is not i can show you so the video I, okay. I, I, can't, I actually have to i'm actually gonna have to cut you off i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna actually have to cut you off so this is a uh, uh, and i and i mean this in the nicest way, nicest way possible an, a misunderstanding of what the government does and like how much things cost so when we're sending aid to foreign countries abroad sending missiles and jets and weapons and ammo is significantly more expensive than hurricane relief. Like missiles, like we, we, we the United States spend like $750,000 on one missile, right? So it's way more expensive. You're saying, so wait, why are we spending more something on something? Let me rephrase. You're saying, why are we spending more money on something that's more expensive than something that's not as expensive? It's literally all that. Hurricane relief is not as expensive as weapons are. So that's why you're saying, well, well, there's a big number for this, but a smaller number for this. That's why. That's it's simple. And by the way, Donald, I just looked this up because I was curious. Don, I have not found a single article on Donald Trump's donating any money. He started a GoFundMe, but I've not seen any money from Donald Trump himself. So, so you're, again, well, but I just want to point out. I want to. I'm I listening. Wanna, I, wait, actually, also, I just want to point. I just, so I just want to point out that uh, sending aid abroad is more expensive than hurricane relief, and. These Republican governors, including the governor of Georgia, have said that Biden told them on the phone that you can call me whenever you want for whatever you need and we'll give it to you. And all of these governors, the governor of Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, and even Virginia, have all praised Biden's response. They've gotten everything they've needed. So all the elected officials are saying they've gotten everything they needed. I don't know where you're getting this idea that, oh, they've asked for something and Biden said no. I, I would love to, I don't want to get off the live because I, I would have to find the link because I sent it to a friend of mine. It is a video of the press asking, you know, where's more relief and they haven't got it. All that aside, you still, we still need to circle back to what happened with the DNC sure, and sure. Kamala Harris replacing Joe Biden because uh, we could talk about Joe Biden all day, but the reality is, I mean, he's, he's not the candidate, so anymore so yeah so and, and so happy to do that but i do want to make it once again clear that the biden administration has fulfilled every single request from all of these states there's not a single state saying that biden hasn't granted everything for them and um i also want to point out that over 90 republicans in the house recently voted to shut down the government which would take funding away from fema uh every single democrat voted to keep the government open and keep it funding so um if you have and also, Democrats are always bigger proponents for more funding for FEMA, whereas Republicans are always in favor of cutting FEMA funding. So if you're concerned with like how much funding FEMA, ha FEMA has, then I highly recommend you vote for Democrats as opposed to Republicans who consistently try to cut that agency. Now, you want to talk about the DNC? Absolutely. Joe Biden made the decision himself to drop out of the presidential race. Then he endorsed a candidate named Kamala Harris as vice president. Um, and the delegates surrounded around her because Joe Biden endorsed her. He was a presumptive nominee. He wasn't the official nominee yet, but then he endorsed Kamala Harris. She got uh, the endorsement from him and a bunch of other Democrats, and the delegates went around her. That is how the party rules work, right? So if, if for example, let's just say the Democratic Party nominated you to be the president of the United States. Like, let's just say all the Democratic voters were like, yeah, we want Abby to be the nominee. You'd probably say, well, I don't want to be the nominee. I don't want to do that. There's no law requiring you to be the Democratic nominee. So you can say, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the nominee. And then the delegates would have to find somebody else to nominate. And you can't just put up nobody for the Democratic Party. So the delegates then have the power to go vote for somebody at the convention. And that's what they did with Kamala Harris. I mean, uh, OK, I mean, I think we're, we're just always going to disagree about how Joe Biden left the race because up until he actually dropped out, he was very adamant amongst pressure from Republicans and Democrats and just people in general saying, this guy is not qualified to be the the president. How, like, why, it, let me ask you, why do you think Joe Biden left the race? We know why he left the race, he told us. He said, 
and this is this is also an extensive reporting that he when he had covid was in delaware with some of his advisors and they were socially distanced in a room and they were showing him internal polling data showing that he was not winning the presidential race and he, based on that data he said and they were showing him other data as well showing that other candidates would perform better against donald trump and joe, and joe biden instead of putting his own ambition before the country before our democracy he said i'm not going to do it and he withdrew from the race and he gave these other candidates who polled better against Donald Trump a chance. And he endorsed Kamala Harris, who polled really well against Donald Trump. And that's what happened. He said this consistently, that he was not forced out, that this was not like, oh, he was just so sad and everybody was mean to him. He made the decision himself to withdraw from the race. And I also want to remind you that Joe Biden didn't have to do that. There's nobody except Joe Biden who could withdraw from the race. If he wanted to be the Democratic nominee, he got voted for. He could have been the Democratic nominee, whether the party liked it or not. And he said, no, I won't. That's what happened. I, I mean, okay. <laughs> I, 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 to my core, do not buy that narrative that Joe Biden just kind of peacefully went after months and months of, you know, pressure and people saying that, I mean, he's not ready to, to, to you know, to do this. But just, so just to be clear, like, even if let's just say hypothetically, Joe Biden was like, I want to be the nominee and the party was like, no, like, why do you care? Why does that? Why does that? So why is that so pertinent to you? Because it's ab about honesty and about democracy, because I mean, they're they're putting this narrative. Hold on. They're putting this narrative on that. They're putting this narrative on about what happened revolving um Joe Biden not being no longer being the candidate. Joe Biden for months also said that he could beat Trump. And then now you're saying all of a sudden he realized he couldn't. So he dropped out. I mean, that's that's unheard of. I mean, there's been plenty of elections over. I know the last few have been very close. But there has been plenty of elections where it was pretty obvious who was going to win. But the other candidate didn't drop out five months before the election, before a presidential election, because he said, oh, I don't feel like I can win anymore. So I'm going to put this person who never received a primary vote into office, give her all of the campaign funding from, you know, Joe Biden's campaign, give it to her, like, or to that person that has never happened before. That, it's that not, has happened this before. Is, okay. Okay. It may have happened once before or something, but this is not, this is not, not normal. I mean, can you at least admit that that the way that this election has been, you know, with with Joe Biden being taking himself out, quote unquote, and him being replaced with Kamala Harris five months before the election? Can you at least admit that that is not normal? So it's not common. That's something that happens in the United States, but it's something that has happened. And there are procedures for when it does. So this is not like a, a foreign thing to American politics. And I also just... I, I have to point out the hypocrisy here that one of your big issues with this being the taking place, which I still don't understand the issue, but one of your big issues is democracy. You're saying it's not democracy. You are voting for a man who tried to overturn the 2020 election. He tried to throw out the votes of 81 million people, 81, including me. I voted for Joe Biden. He tried to throw out my vote. You cannot cite democracy as something that you are concerned about if you are voting for somebody who is so careless with it and somebody who did everything in his power to do it. We just got a filing from the Department of Justice today laying out all the evidence from the DOJ uh, that they have on Donald Trump trying to overturn the election. This includes trying to gather a fake slate of electors so that his electors would be submitted to the Electoral College and to Congress, but Joe Biden's wasn't, even if Joe Biden won a state. This includes pressuring state officials to try to convene a special session and investigate election fraud and decertify this, their results. This includes pressuring the vice president of the United States to just outright reject votes from Biden states. And he's been indicted for this criminal activity. So if you are concerned about democracy, I think the least of your worries is Joe Biden willingly taking himself out of a presidential race and endorsing his VP. I think the bigger problem here is the fact that you are voting for a guy who has been very open about his attempts to subvert American democracy. Um, yeah, in regards to, to most of what you just said, 
I think that there were probably going to disagree on this too, but I think that there were legitimate reasons to question not everywhere, but some of the events revolving the 2020 election with the mail-in votes and how convenient that was. Trump voted I mail-in. Get it. I don't know what Trump voted by mail-in vote. That he voted by mail and vote, but and this has been well. reported. Hold on, this has been reported by by both sides of the media. There is a difference between, and Trump clarified this in the 2020 debate. I remember it very clearly because I was kind of agreed with your point. Trump mailed by a mail and vote that he like asked for basically he said i'm voting by mail in send me a mail in va- ballot and then that's like sent back okay what was happening in 2020 is people were getting sent all these ballots for that were not real ballots that were not requested that they did not ask for that were sent in to them and then Like, that's not normal when you request because there's nothing wrong with voting by mail. But the issue in 2020 with everything going on was it was not normal. Like, hey, I want to vote by mail and I, you know, request a mail in ballot and then I send it back in. No, people were getting illegitimate ballots in the mail. For example, that's one thing that is absolutely They were not getting illegitimate ballots. Here's the thing. There were some states that were sending out ballots regardless. But if you voted in person and you voted by ballot whatever vote was counted first would be the vote that counted if your mail-in ballot got there second it would be rejected it wouldn't be counted and i just be clear we've had mail-in voting for years there were five states before 2020 that almost exclusively did mail-in voting that most people utilize mail-in voting for their elections um and some of those states also send out mail-in ballots regardless of whether it's requested or not So this has been a thing for a long time now. And I want to remind you that your speculation about what could be like, oh, well, I feel as if this this system of mail-in voting might be insecure or unsecure is not actually backed up by any evidence. There's no evidence to say that it is. And just let me just give you, I'll make this quick. Donald Trump had over 60 court cases where he challenged a lot of these things. He lost every single one. 14 of the judges in those cases were appointed by him. The FBI, the Department of Justice, the Department of Homeland Security all said that the election was secure. Donald Trump's own attorney general, the FBI director, his own lawyers, his own family, his own vice president all told him that the election was secure. And he hired two different firms, private companies, to look into fraud in the 2020 election. Both of them came back and said that there was nothing. These were companies hired by Donald Trump. There is not a single lawsuit that has worked that Donald Trump and his allies have brought. So there is no point in buying into crappy lies made up by one man to justify an incredibly harmful action to this country. There's nothing, there's no, and the crucial point is, and the last thing I'll say, there is no evidence to back it up. Okay, I again, I'm gonna disagree with you on that. I don't, I'm not someone who, can is says that the 2020 election was 100% stolen. Donald Trump had it. They 100% did it. However, I do think, and you can disagree with me on that. And you're saying, well, Trump tried to do these like investigations, like blah, blah, blah. I do think there are legitimate questions about the 2020 election. Close your mouth. Uh, I think there are legitimate questions about the 2020 election, whether what questions, about the integrity of the election. What but do you based mean? On what? Would... Based on what? Uh, the no mail in ba- the mail in ballots. There were uh, oh. voting booths that closed early. There were vote, vote, voting voting booths. Yes, it is. I want to, I want sixty plus court cases. They lost every single one. I that's fine. Okay. They lost the court cases. That's fine. You know why they I'm lost? Not... Because they didn't have evidence. Okay. Some of Donald Trump's lawyers have been disbarred, removed from the bar system. They can't be lawyers anymore because of what they did. And because they lied in front of the court, they willingly submitted false evidence and brought false claims of irregularities to the court. Look, there's not a single piece of evidence to back this up. None. So you shouldn't believe this. You shouldn't believe stuff from this guy. And again, he's been indicted for this. He wasn't indicted for that. He yes, he was. All oh, right, I don't. I don't remember that. Oh, I know that he was indicted. I know that he was indicted for like some uh, some other things. I this is the first that I've heard that he's been indicted cr- indicted in a criminal court for like anything to do with the twenty twenty election. 
Are you kidding? This is the first time you heard of this? He, yeah, he was indicted for trying to overturn the 2020 election because what he did was illegal. Was he found guilty of that? The trial hasn't happened. You know why? Because Donald Trump pushed it back. He kept appealing and appealing and appealing because he didn't want the trial to happen before the election because his own lawyers and the mood within his legal team was that he would lose, that he'd be found guilty of trying to interfere and overturn the 2020 election. So the reason we don't have a verdict yet is because of Donald Trump. You shouldn't reward that behavior. You shouldn't vote for somebody who's willing to push back his own trial because he thinks he's guilty and he doesn't but want you, you to know that he's guilty. You think I should vote for Kamala Harris? You still haven't explained. You still have not explained why she is the appropriate candidate. I'm for, happy to. Uh, okay. I mean, what's so good? Sure. Please tell so me what's so good about she's, Kamala she's, Harris. She's dedicated her life to public service. There is nobody... I, I, I can't imagine somebody more qualified for the presidency. She was district attorney of San Francisco. Then she ran for attorney general of California, won, served as attorney general of California, uh, then became senator from California, then became vice president and is now running for president. Dedicated okay. her life to public service. And in each yes, one of these that roles- that resume sounds fabulous. Sure. And I can sure. tell you things she's done in each one of these roles if you'd like. Okay. That, that, that resume sounds really good. However- California, all these things you did. I mean, California is a shit show. Um, it's been discussed many times that she put people behind bars that uh, that had false positives for drug tests. It's not true. The <laughs> no, okay. this, is the, this, is the, this is the thing. All, all of this stuff that you hear is not true. She has okay. not put. She has not willingly put innocent people behind bars. She hasn't sent. A, she hasn't sent a bunch of uh, people of color to jail for petty marijuana crimes. None of this is the case. You can look at her own record. I mean, it's remarkable. Remarkable the lies that are told about her record. Okay. I mean, I. I mean, I don't know. I. I don't feel like. <laughs> Just. Be, I mean, like. Whatever, bro. The felon. The felon. The criminal. Oh my gosh. It, it has been said by people from both sides of the aisle, very l much less Democrats, obviously, than Republicans, that what he was charged with and what he was indicted for is, I mean, just, I mean, I, I mean explain to me what he did. What, what, is his, what are his convictions? Yeah, so he was convicted of 34 felonies of falsifying business records in the first degree because he had an affair with an adult actress while his wife was home pregnant, or excuse me, with his newborn child. Um, and he wanted to cover up that affair so that his presidential prospects would be preserved in 2016 and that the people wouldn't find out about it. So he uh, paid off the adult actress he had an affair with by funneling money to his lawyer so that he would pay her off, kind of hush money payment, which is not illegal. But then mm -hmm. he mislabeled these uh, business documents knowingly so that nobody would know what the money was for. And nobody knows would know that he was paying off this adult actress with the intent of influencing the 2016 election. So essentially, election interference. This guy has a really Real big tendency of wanting to interfere in elections, and he did it in 2016. And a jury of his peers, of uh, a jury though selected by his lawyers and the prosecution, found him guilty of every single count. <laughs> I mean, again, what you're talking about the 34 convictions, blah 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 blah. Felonies, felonies, F felony convictions, sure, whatever. You're talking about how he mislabeled something, even if even if that was intentional. I mean, we're talking about very small and it was like, wasn't it, you correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't it that he didn't label it as campaign funds? No, no. He said, the that, other way around. he said that he retained Michael Cohen, who was the person that he funneled money to for mm -hmm. as a lawyer. And what he was paying him for was retainer, right? A retainer okay. for legal services. But that was a lie that wasn't true. And he knew it wasn't true. So he lied about this money, which in, in and of itself, would be a misdemeanor if it was just this, but he was doing it with the intent to influence the 2016 election. That's election interference. That's not okay. I mean, yes, I, I don't think he is. Wait, I, just he was committing a crime so that his prospects in 2016 would be preserved. Okay. I mean, I, again, I don't think that you can call it a crime and maybe on the books, you know, Technically, it is, but I don't think that that's the spirit of that law. And they also like sent. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna get into that because you're just gonna say it's not true. But don't I say mean, it. you can say it. No, because you're just gonna say it's not true. No, well, no, and say, I'm, it's make make your point. Make your point. Look, my point is what he was convicted of. 
I mean, y'all are acting like, I mean, you were talking about criminal things. I mean, we talked about Hunter Biden mm-hmm. and the laptop and, you Hunter know. He's not running for president. I don't care about Hunter Biden. I know. Uh, did but, you know that he was also found liable for assaulting a woman? But it's still covered up by the, you can say he's not running for president, but it's still covered up by those same people. It was covered up by the president. Yes, you're right. Hunter Biden is not running for president. It was not covered up by the president. What are you talking about? He was covered this, up by his people. Oh. What do you mean? By his Who office? Who covered it up? Who covered up? Also, what are they, they covering up? They lied about, they lied. You're telling me that Joe Biden was up front about the Hunter Biden laptop and what was the, on the laptop and the cocaine everywhere. You're telling me that H- Joe Biden was like, yeah, my kid did that. Fuck. No. no, he didn't. First of all, Joe Biden shouldn't even, he shouldn't even be asked about that laptop. Who the hell cares what Hunter Biden does? Second of all, uh, the, the story that Republicans were pushing about the laptop in 2020 was that it's this big, terrible criminal thing. In reality, it just has some unflattering photos of Hunter Biden doing things that he shouldn't have done. That's all that the laptop is. There was no criminality involving Joe Biden or anybody in the Biden family. It was just Hunter Biden doing things that he shouldn't have done, that he's acknowledged and owned up to. So I couldn't care less about the laptop. Now, do, do, are you familiar with the fact that Donald Trump was found liable for assaulting a woman, for raping her? Uh, you know, I knew it was assault. I'm not super no i mean yes i know that he was found liable i'm not sure if it was rape or sec- just basic sexual assault which is two different things i'm not mitigating he assaulted a woman anything. was found liable for it he was found liable for extensive business fraud as well and he's been found guilty of 34 felonies and indicted on more all of these things assaulting women what why why would you vote for that why would you vote why how could you consciously vote for somebody who does that there's no good answer (laughs) because i feel like you're kind of backing me into a corner with that if that happened yes i disagree with it wholeheartedly it's not just a matter of disagreeing with it i I hope you disagree with it it's can you put your money where your mouth is and show that you actually despise this so much and you're like yeah this is wrong that you wouldn't vote for somebody who does that to be president of the united states and not only did he do that but then he attacked the woman who he assaulted, called her all these names and had his supporters go attack her. And then he was found liable for defaming her twice, has to pay her $90 million. I mean, I, I mean, okay. I, you're not gonna like my answer on this. Um, yeah, it's, it's still, I mean, that's still not, even if everything that you're saying is true, that's still not to me a good enough reason to vote Kamala Harris over Donald Trump. Okay, here's the thing. You don't, respectfully, I don't think you even know what Kamala Harris's policies are. I don't even think you know what Donald Trump's you, policies are. I would love, yes, I. You, they're still not even on, I, I can check again right now, but I still don't even think they're on her website. Nobody knows what Kamala Harris's policies are because she changes them constantly. Before she wanted open borders, now she's saying we it's need to true. close the border. Before, that's not true. Oh she's never God. called for open borders. The, you're it's so frustrating having this conversation because your objections are based on misinformation like you're saying things that apply to Kamala Harris that aren't true she has never once called for open borders and I will say that her opinions have evolved over time but that's good we should have we leaders who are willing to change their views when presented with new information we shouldn't have leaders who just dig their their heels in the sand just because they want to be right that's actually I, I say that's that's an example of a good leader Evolving opinions is good. I agree with that. Great. And I think and I think that on some things Trump should probably quit being so stubborn. Evolving her policies is good. What I don't like is that her change in opinion and the change in her mind about these things, she hasn't even explained why her mind was changed. On the other hand, you have someone like JD Vance who was using his own quotes, never Trumper, did not like the guy at all, has come out since then and answered multiple times, what made you change your mind about Donald Trump? Yes, he has. Please go look it up. Please no, look I'm, up. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you that he's answered questions about that, but all of his answers are crap because it's, as recent as 2020, he was making a fun of Donald Trump's economic policy, saying that they weren't working. This guy is he, all Donald Trump, all J.D. Vance did was realize, man, I'd really love to love run for government and run for Senate. He ran for Senate. He, he knew the only way that he could win was endorsing Donald Trump. Then he started singing Donald Trump's praises. And now that he now he's Donald Trump's VP pick. This does not mean that J.D. Vance is is such a, a is such a, a, a wholeheartedly honest guy because now he answers questions about how his opinions evolved. And by the way, Kamala Harris answered questions at the presidential debate about why her opinions evolved. And also, I again, the policy matters more. 
Kamala Harris has actual policy to deal with these things. Donald Trump has none. You ask him, Donald Trump, what's your policy on housing? He doesn't have one. Doesn't have one. For, versus Kamala Harris's policy of giving $20,000 to first-time home buyers, which everybody knows is just going to increase the, the price of homes, whereas Donald Trump's policy that's not, that's not is just. not give people things. Listen, Donald Trump's policy is not give people things the way that Kamala Harris's policy is. His policy is make it make the country more affordable so that the government yeah, doesn't have to give you money to do how, things. How is he going to do that? How is he going to, like, what do you mean? How's he going to tax he cuts, tax cuts, bringing more industry For, here? Really? Because none of that worked the first time he was president. He outsourced more jobs than Obama did in his four-year term. And the tax cuts he gave primarily benefited the wealthy, 83% of the benefits. I don't think that Elon Musk is struggling right now. I don't think he needs another beach house. I guess Donald Trump does, though. So that was the first time he tried that. It didn't work then. What do you mean it didn't work then? The economy was great. Pre-COVID, the economy was great then. Yeah, not because of Donald Trump. The economy was great when he inherited it, and then he took credit for it. Now, on your $25,000 comment, first of all, it's $25,000 for first-time home buyers. That also I said that. You said 20000 It also oh. wouldn't increase the price of a house because the home sellers do not know who's getting down payment assistance. And it's only for a certain amount of people in certain income brackets and also only for first time home buyers. So that limits it even more. And there's already a number of down payment assistance programs around the country. And we've had those for years or decades. And those have not artificially risen the, pr the price of a house. Okay. And what, uh, okay, fine. What other policies, I mean, Kamala Harris's economic policies, you can debate that they're good or bad, but the fact is okay. she's, in office right now with Joe Biden. And you said earlier, you said earlier, it's the Biden Harris campaign. That's why she got the nominee is because she's a part of that, because she's a part of that office. That was your justification earlier. Okay. So if that's going to be your justification for that, you also need to admit the fact that she is in office now and, you know, her policies mirror Joe Biden's policies. Please tell me another policy of or a policy of Kamala Harris that is better than Donald Trump's. So did you vote for Donald Trump in 2020? Yes. Okay. So, and you know how Donald Trump in the, when he was uh, running in 2020 was saying, I'm going to fix the economy from COVID. Yes. Yeah. So why didn't he just do it right then? He had been working. What do you mean? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't he just solve it right me? then and there? Why didn't he just solve it? He was president. Why didn't he Half just solve it right then and there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Half the... No, okay. wait, wait, wait. COVID, Unemployment COVID, was still really high when he Let left. Why didn't he just solve it right there? The, the pandemic was like, this was like peak pandemic time. Why didn't he just most... solve the pandemic? See how bad of an argument this is? This is the exact same argument you're making that, oh, they're, they're in office right now. Why don't they solve it? It's, it's not that easy. It's 2024. Yeah. It's right. That is yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Fair. That's the, that is wait, not it, a fair comparison. Understand, understand the, it's, a, it's the exact same logic you're making right now. You're saying that, oh, well, they're in office right now. Why don't they just solve the problems that they're facing right now? Why don't they just solve it? That's the, I can make that exact same argument about Donald Trump in 2020. That's a really bad argument because it's a misunderstanding about how, about how the government works. Government is slow. A lot of these things can't be addressed really quickly. And a lot of these things can't be addressed certainly by the VP by themselves. So you're saying, why doesn't Harris fix the economy? That is not how the economy works. It's not how Congress works. And it's certainly not how the vice presidency works. Okay. So what economic policy of Kamala Harris's beats Donald Trump's? Her entire opportunity economy slogan that she's talking about, her entire position is, hey, let's make it easier for people to do well. One of the th ways she wants to do that is raising the standard tax deduction for small businesses from $5,000 to $50,000. One of the ways that really, one sec, it makes it, one of the ways it's really difficult to create a small business is because of the financial aspect. It's very expensive to make a business. Kamala Harris is saying, hey, let's reduce that barrier, make it easier for people to create small businesses. And her view is let's give the middle class a tax cut. You know, people keep saying it. Donald Trump says, oh, this and that. Let's actually give the middle class a tax cut so the middle class has more money in their pockets and more expendable income. And let's raise the taxes on the wealthy so we can continue to fund our schools, our roads, our bridges, our water systems, our hospitals and things like that. Let's do that. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. So two things. One, that is one policy of Kamala Harris's that I come – and in complete agreement with about the small business thing. I think that that's really good. And I would love to see from Donald Trump more. I like that he, you know, is big on, you know, big industry because that brings a lot of jobs. But I wish that he was also uh, just as enthusiastic about helping small businesses. So I will agree with you on that policy. 
but oh gosh, I've already forgot. What was the second thing? Um, small businesses or right. small businesses, but you said something else. Tax cuts. Oh yeah. Tax cuts. I mean, Donald Trump ha- gave tax cuts. My family is a middle-class family. Um, my, my dad is a police officer. My mom is, you know, does logistics for, for, you know, car companies. We are a middle class, truly middle class family. Okay. We had fantastic tax breaks during Donald Trump's presidency and have, and our income has not changed. We paid significant taxes in Joe Biden's presidency. That's just a personal example. So you're um, saying your family's taxes have gone up under Joe Biden? Yes. Yes. We are still under Donald Trump's tax plan. How, how is that? How, no. Yeah, because he signed the law in uh, 2017, 2018. Uh, it's a 10-year plan. It's, it's a 10-year tax system. So it doesn't expire fully until 2027. So how so come, if, if that's the case, then how come we, my family, whose income has not changed, yeah. if it has, it's been very marginal. If it has not changed, how come during, 20, you said it was enacted in 2018. So yeah. 2019 and 2017. 2020, still under... 2017, 2017, 2018, 2019 had tax uh, returned, like money returned back to us. And then under the same ta- quote unquote tax plan, we're now paying more in taxes. Yeah, that's that's part of Donald Trump's plan. Uh, it's kind of like, um, think of it as like a, like a slider. Like every single year taxes go up for families that it was originally cut for. So every so you're, you're probably saying, oh, maybe this year I'm paying more taxes than the last. This year I'm paying more taxes than the last. It continues to go up for different income brackets. So now your income bracket and your family's income bracket has probably been hit sometimes under sometime uh, under the Biden administration, and then your taxes went up as a result, but not because of Joe Biden. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris tried to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Republicans wouldn't uh, vote for that. Vote with them on that, and uh, and institute new tax laws, which would have given a tax cut to the middle class, raise them on the wealthy. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have said that they will not raise taxes on anybody making less than four hundred thousand dollars a year, and they haven't done that. But Donald Trump's tax law continues to do that, and it sucks. Also, it, it just it's just a, a tax cut for the wealthy at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, okay. Um, so don't vote for that. There's, there's, there's no reason to vote for Donald Trump. None. There's no reason to vote for a criminal. There's no reason to vote for somebody who claims credit for the economy, didn't actually do anything for the economy. There's no reason to claim credit for this guy who just lies time and time and time and time and time and time and time again, told over 30,000 lies during his presidency. There's just no reason. There's no reason at all. I mean, I mean, okay. I, I don't really know. Honestly, I don't know what to say about this point. And I, I will say that you are much more educated on these finer points than I am. It seems like you, I'm not really familiar with your page. It just showed up on my For You page like the live did. But um, it seems like you might do this this quite often. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, even like for, okay, fine. If we say Joe Biden ran in 2020 that about ta- tax cuts to the middle class, where are those tax cuts? We, we tried to get them passed. Republicans wouldn't vote for it. For it. Okay, so, but how something. can you run on something? This, okay, uh, uh, Joe Biden also ran, and Kamala Harris ran on in 2020 on student loan debt. Both of those things never really happened. It's not true. Uh, Joe Biden has forgiven more student loan debt than any president before him. But any he president still in history. didn't meet his, his promise. What? No, you know, as well as I do, that the promises that he made about student loan debt were not, uh, did not come to reality during his presidency. Yeah. So Joe Biden said that he would want to forgive up to $10,000 of student loan forgiveness, $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients and things like that. Uh, they actually instituted that plan um, and it was blocked by the Supreme Court, which is a conservative Supreme Court. And the reason that lawsuit even came to be is because Republicans sued the Biden administration. So you're saying, well, why did this come to be? Again, asking, ask your own party, ask the people you're voting for as to why millions of students, millions of people dealing with student loan debt do not have that forgiveness. But the point is, the point is not that we didn't get student loan debt forgiveness because I don't really agree with that. My point is that they are running on lies and false promises. It's not that we didn't get student loan debt forgiven. It was that the promise was made that they would get student loan debt forgiven and they didn't do it knowing, knowing that there was a conservative majority in the, uh, in Congress, knowing that there was a conservative majority in the, on the Supreme Court, knowing all of that and still 
parroting to the American people that they were going to get this done and other things done that didn't happen. That is false promises. It's not false promises. They tried. So when you're running for president, you say, I want to do this. I'm going to try to get this done. They tried. They signed an executive order to do it. And then the Republicans sued the Biden administration to have it overturned. You cannot blame Biden and Kamala Harris if the conservative Supreme Court, which, by the way, three of those people were appointed by Donald Trump, are blame are, are, are overturning a, a policy of his. That's it's literally out of his control. And also, I just want to be clear again. Biden has forgiven more student loan debt than any president before. So you're saying, well, Biden ran on forgiving student loans. Why didn't he? Uh, he did. I mean, the m- I'm not saying of- he forgave no student loan debt. That's not what I said. What I said was the promises that he made during him and Kamala made during their campaigns for the 2020 presidency was much more than was actually realized. Okay, and that's consistent but I, I, on a lot of things. The economy. The Supreme Joe Biden Court said, shot Joe it Biden down. Said, Please hold on. <sighs> Joe Biden said that he would bring the economy back, build back better, build back better was his campaign slogan. Do you think that we have built back better? Yes. What we've been able. Oh my God. Yes. What we've been able to accomplish in the United States with our economy is unheard of. This was economy what, for who? Because I feel like I don't uh, know where- everybody, everybody. No economist thought that we were going to be in this position when COVID happened. No economist. No now, economist fast forward, thought that we were going to be in this position oh, no. echo. when COVID happened. Echo, echo, no economist. Echo, echo, echo. You got to swipe up out of the app. There's, you got to swipe up out of the app. There's, there's an echo. Just swipe up and come back. Go ahead, swipe. Abby, swipe up and come back. And then come back. And come back. Come on. Come on, come on, Abby. Where, where'd you go? Oh, she. Le- uh, I guess maybe she. Maybe she like swiped up out of the app altogether. Well, there she goes. Um, my God. Uh, Skylar, thank you for the five dollars on Venmo, saying this girl isn't real. Uh, Daisy Jade, thank you for the one dollar. Take, I'll take myself out tomorrow. Adore you and your work. Amazing, Daisy. I, I think you should. I appreciate your support, and I hope you do. Go treat yourself. Go have something good tomorrow. Um, it, it's uh, it means a lot that you're here. And again, Sassy Sailor with another seventy five dollars on Cash App, saying David, aka Sassy Sailor, thanks for all that you do. David, thank you for all that you do. I appreciate that. That's incredibly kind. Another seventy five dollars tonight. That is insane. David, my man, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. That is incredibly kind. Show some love for David in the chat um, for another $75 in Cash App. Wow. Yeah. Uh, God. All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to go Peloton now. That's right. I'm going to go I'm gonna go ride the Peloton. I'm going to go lift. Um, so, yeah, I'll wrap up the live there. Listen, I have uh, a couple things for you to do. Uh, I post on every single social media platform. I post on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat. All of those links are in my bio. Uh, It would mean a lot if you can go support all of those different platforms, follow on all of them. And now also do me a favor and um, we're going to raid somebody tonight. We're going to raid somebody. Uh, I want you guys to either go raid Tommy or Isaiah. Tommy is my underscore dude. M Y underscore D O O D E. He's a really good debate, like a really good debater, really, really good on, on TikTok. So definitely go raid Tommy, say Harry sent you, say Harry raid, Harry raid, Harry raid. Let him know in the chat that we sent him or go to Isaiah R. Martin. Uh, he's live right now. It's uh, Isaiah R. Martin. Um, so go do that. Go uh, say hi to Isaiah and let him know that we, uh, we, we, we think he's awesome. Um, so again, that's my dude, my underscore D O O D E. And Isaiah and oh, actually, there you go. Uh, I, uh, uh, Killer is going to pin it now. So both these usernames, go raid them, go raid them, go say Harry raid, Harry raid, Harry raid. Let them know that we sent you um, and let them know that they're, they're off. They're awesome. All right. So go do that. Go say Harry raid. Let them know. I want the entire chat. I want the entire chat of both of these people to be filled with Harry raid. I want it to be entire chat to be filled with Harry raid. Now, as I mentioned, go follow on all the platforms on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Both of their usernames are again right here. My dude, Isaiah R. Martin. Both of them are right here. Right here. All right. Let them know. Um, and let and say hi to them. All right. 
Um, but anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, have a great day tomorrow. It's Thursday tomorrow, if it's not already for you on the East Coast. Um, have a great day tomorrow. Uh, enjoy your uh, Thursday. Sleep in if you can. Eat some good food. Drink some water. Eat some. Uh, have a meal or something along those nature. Thank you, HY, for the subscription. I appreciate you. Um, and enjoy yourself tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Sleep in if you can. All that good stuff. See some.